Okay, looks good now, chat. Looks good now. Just bonked the gamepad here. Anyways, Northeastern Sea, we made it. Obviously, that cyclone's not letting me in, so let's go here. The thing that worries me about this part of the game, though, is, like, a lot of the enemies become kind of finicky with trying to hit with the cannon. Like, if you're surrounded by ships, like, you, you spend time tapping one, you can't hit the other. Uh-oh, here we go. I, I think I gotta jump this. Or it's gone. Hang on, I should go to this boat. Maybe the boat will let me repair if I go there. Or hit a checkpoint if the ship goes down. Uh-oh. I think the ship despawned it. Let's hope so. Oh, oh what's this? Uh... Let's do this. Warm up with the combat. Alright, there we go. A little nervous there. I wasn't warmed up for uh, tapping there. Goodness, that was just incredible. That little dance he's doing. I'm very impressed. More impressed than I have been for a very long time. What do those things do to you? you must be a very pure-hearted individual, I think. What? Me? My name is... Well, it's not worth mentioning, really. The Man of Smiles. That is what I should like people to call me. And what is your name? Link? Haha, <laughs> what a fine name it is. Well, f well then, Link, from now on, you and I are friends. It's done. Aha! All right. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. You are the one who helped me, yes? I should do something to thank you. Yes, I will give you a present. Do you want a mysterious thing or a normal thing? Uh... Normal. Yeah, I thought so. It shows where treasure lies at the bottom of the sea. That is just a normal piece of paper. You can use it to blow your nose, or you could make a paper sandwich. It is not nutritious, but it could be delicious. Ha! I'm feeling generous. I shall give you the mysterious thing as well. You got the hero's new clothes. They're so... light. View it from the collection screen for now. These clothes were said to have been worn by a hero of ancient times. They are a rare garment said to hold truth. Very mysterious, yes? Ha. Huh. Okay. Uh, are they there? Yes, they are, apparently. I get the joke. I'm assuming that they're for some sort of trading quest. I don't remember this at all. I'm a man of smiles. I deal in mirth. I like to make people smile. Are you not happy to have received the clothes of an ancient hero? Smile! All right. I guess I didn't heal up. That's unfortunate. Hmm. If I go here, I'm gonna have to deal with enemies, but this is definitely the way to go. Cyclone won't let me in. I really did need more health, but I don't have enough ship parts to match. And that's basically just because it's like RNG drops what you get. Them gulls. Oh, hang on. Frog, frog. Oof, nice shot, buddy. The big frog spread word about you. Want to know the draw on the cyclone slate? Here goes, pay attention. Okay. That'll do. You better write it down somewhere. Did you get that? And I'm out of here. See my fellow frogs? Write them the best. Give them the best. Okay. Um, since I got the warp, it might be a good idea to go uh, somewhere else here. Hang on. I 
I can easily come back here now, so that's good. So I can get other things. No, this isn't my first playthrough. I, um, I played this all the time when I was young. Let's see here. Now I'm back this way. Hang on a second. How do I check the, the chart? There it is. There's two X's up there. I've kind of been curious about that. There could be sand I need. First, let me just dock at the island. If I can get, like, an extra minute or so from the hourglass, it'll be worth it. The ship parts are kind of eh. I think normally, um... Yeah, I think my ship would have more health right now because I unlocked extra ship parts by playing battle mode, but that's literally impossible on the Wii U version. There we go. My health super low. I'm gonna go to see. Just docking here will make it so that the ship goes back to four hearts again. Well, even if I have played it before, you still shouldn't be spoiling stuff. Cat members haven't seen everything. I'll do that. Alright, let's take a trip up here. Warp is good. Although I haven't found many frogs for some reason. I feel like I'm just not coming across them. I feel like there should be one over to the left side of this map, but I couldn't find it. Hang on, chat. Which, uh, which region has the DS island? I wanted to go there. This game is super, super gimmicky. Like, the Wii U translates some of it, most of its gimmicks just fine, because there's a mic on the gamepad, but... Man, trying to play this on most anything except a DS nowadays is, uh, not great. I mean, a lot of SD cards are kind of failing nowadays, too. Like, in recent times, I tried booting up, like, old car uh, cards of uh, Diamond and Pearl, and they kept erroring, and it was really un unfortunate. It's southeast? Alright, I'll check that out later. I don't think I have other business here. Other than these two, uh, ships here. Ocean's not too loud, is it? Just lower it a bit. But yeah, chat, looks like this might be the last Zelda playthrough of the year. We're getting really close. We got a lot of these done this year, it was fun. Uh, enemy sighted. Good for the enemy. I'm gonna salvage. Oh, this was almost busted. Uh-oh. I should've- I should've fixed this when I was, uh... Back at isle at the islands, huh? All right, let me just focus here. I don't want to mess this up. And it makes me nervous because having the stylus on the bottom screen moving this thing, it uh, messes up. Like I can't see what's coming from below, as my hand is kind of blocking it with the stylus. If that makes any sense to you? All right. Careful. Played a lot of fun games this year, chat. And if you miss, I realize I'm dating the episode a bit, but I was thinking for actual, like, uh, New Year's Eve, I was gonna do another Resident Evil 4 randomizer all day. That'd be comfy. There we go. Shut the ear off strong, chat. It'll be fun. Let's see if I can get the other one without messing things up. Ah, I think this matches the one I currently have. Maybe that'll give me an extra heart. I could try. Let's try doing this now. I only found one treasure that had, uh... Oops. It had, uh, sand in it. I thought it died in one hit. I was confused for a second. I haven't been to that traveler ship. We'll do that after. I hear you. Okay, let's give this a try. I did one RE4 rando, uh, some months ago. It was a lot of fun. Also, super excited to play the remake. Definitely gonna be a day one stream for me. Okay. 
I'm trying to look at the TV so I can see the bottom of the screen better. Oh, this is making me nervous. I try not to date episodes too much because it may I want to want it to feel timeless. I want to feel timeless for whoever may be watching this two years from now on YouTube. At 3 a.m. you should go to bed, Richard. Statistically, ooh, okay. Probably someone out there named Richard watching this at 3 a.m. in the future. And when it, it's gonna psych them out when it happens. Okay. I got real nervous there. Real nervous there. Check out that DS island soon enough. The Iron Hall. Damn, I didn't really want that. Alright. Oh well. We got what we got. Let's see what this thing is. You shouldn't be watching my VODs at 3 a.m. chat. You should be sleeping like good moments. I haven't been sleeping the best myself, <laughs> so I really should be. What's that? Is that my boat from Wind Waker? Hmm? Say, I can't help but notice you're dressed exactly like me. Are you a fan of mine? Aha! Don't get me wrong, it doesn't surprise me in the least to meet a fan. I travel the world on my Prince of Red Lion ship to save all things from evil. Yes, you heard me right. I'm what you would call a hero. Do you want my autograph? Sure. Oh no, I'm afraid I've run out of autograph paper. I'm so very sorry. You know, I know this can't take the place of my autograph, but... Well, based on the way you're dressed, I'm sure you're quite an admirer. Don't worry. I understand. I'll make you my apprentice. A hero's apprentice. What more can we hope for? <laughs> Very good. It's decided then. What's your name, kid? Link? Link, you are now a hero's apprentice. Study and learn the dashing ways of the hero and remember to stay cool. What's this? I feel them. You wouldn't happen to have a set of those, would you? Oh, does he want the hero's clothes? Don't try to hide it. I'm still the hero. You know, I sense things. Those things, casting off such pure light, can be none other than the hero's new clothes. The clothes that only honest people can see, right? Would it be possible to convince you to give me those clothes? That's a collector's item that my fans go absolutely crazy for. Take them. Well, yes, I knew you were a good kid all along. I mean, thank you. How gracious of you. Here, you can have these in return. Telescope. Okay, I know who wants this. No, wait. It's just a kaleidoscope. Too bad. Oh. For now, you can check it on the collection screen. I don't actually know what the trading quest gives you in this game. I don't remember. This is something valuable I borrowed from my little sister. Aha, just kidding. It's something I picked up in my travels. It still works. Might come in handy. It's all yours. Okay. Say, my faithful apprentice... Want me to train you in the art of swordsmanship? Very well. You and I will meet in battle. I'll check to see how much skill you have. Hacha. Come at me with your finest moves, young apprentice. Ow! That didn't count. I went too easy on you, but I won't do it again. Let's fight. Ah. That's it. Huh? Uh, let's leave it at that for the day. Your skills will never improve if you overdo it. I must admit, the fact that you made a contact a total of four times. That's an appropriate skill level for Apprentice of a Hero. Keep it up, my Apprentice Link. Put your hand out for a second. Ah, oh, Plume. That's a gift in honor of the sweat and, and tears from the whatever. It's nothing big, but it might come in handy at a later time. I accidentally tapped the screen. Here we go. All right, that settles that. 
Let me go down. See if I can put the worn handrail on. Or do I already have that? I can't really tell. Actually, it'd be faster if I just did the slate. Heck yeah. A hundred times gives you a great reward. Yeah, not right now. That sounds like it'd be tedious. I need to repair my, uh... I need to repel the... What is it? What is it? The salvage arm. That That's what it is. It's super tedious. It took you, like, four hours to do that. Oh, my God. Oh, that's even worse than I imagined. What is it, then? Because I'm definitely not going to do it on stream. Definitely not going to do it. Is there a trick to it? You drifted in the shipyard. Got parts? I'll set up your thing here. All right. 50 rupees repaired. Our container? Oh, damn. That is a nice reward for doing that. Oh, right. I gotta talk to him again to uh, change the ship parts. Let's do that. Got parts? I'll set it up. Customize. Okay, handrail. There it is. Simple. Dire need a repair, but it's design that's a lot of flavor. I think it matches my, uh, thing here, I guess. We got wood. Normal chimney. Oh, I do have a demon chimney. I should have put that on ages ago. Wheel, insect wheel. That's all I got. About this, passable. I don't know if the bell one actually does anything. Anchor. That's something, I guess. What about this? Steady bridge. I don't have any other ones. This is the best I can do, it seems. That's my ship. I don't think it makes much of a difference. I don't have enough matching uh, parts there. Okay. See if this worked. I don't think the guy said anything about my um, ship increasing its hearts. I think he's supposed to do that. No, it doesn't look like it. All right, let's go over here because there's something in the southeastern sea. He said I was at five. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I miss that? I must have tapped it. And yeah, I can see it. Five hearts. So attaching that was a good idea then. I don't really want to do with the arrow or shooting gallery minigame because of the way my screens are laid out. Like, what you see on, on your screen right now is how things are laid out on the gamepad for me right now. So the screens don't line up like they're supposed to. Also, there is an X on me right now. Right? I think so. So I should be able to get one. Hang on. Okay, took you out. These ships are annoying, like, if I'm surrounded, what am I supposed to do except take a hit from one? Okay, so I took them out, that means there is going to be a treasure map thing. Yeah, I see the X now. So I can get the treasure that they drop. Give it a try. Technically, the only thing I have left to do is uh, the last temple for the metal, and then back to the Temple of the Ocean King for endgame. You don't really need to get everything in this game, because, like, as a kid, I explored, like, everything, and I remember being, like, it was fun, don't get me wrong, but just disappointed at the, at the amount of rewards you get for it. Yeah, this explains the X I saw up here last time. 
Yeah, it's gonna knock it, so slow it down. Overall, though, chat, this has been my first uh, DS game on Wii U stream. Work it works really well. Um, so I think it would be good to do the Ranger game soon, if I can, after all. Let's see here. I have no idea how well the Ranger games will do at all. I, I know some people have massive nostalgia for them. I only ever, like, a little bit completed the first one, just so I could get the Manaphy Egg, and I remember, like, nothing. Dylan really liked them, I know that. But I obviously... Because you have to, like, destroy your touchscreen, it's... Well, Wii U is probably the best thing to put that on. Anyways, padding wheel. Bleh. So there's an island hidden down here somewhere. Let's go check that. And then we can try and get towards the temple. Getting that extra heart was good. Like, a little bit of exploration is good, so you increase your hearts for your ship. But, um... Here we go here. Second Ranger is much better. I'm sure that probably will be a good thing to get to then. Let's see here. Just hit that. I know there's a third one. Was the third is the third one as good or what? I know that the second Ranger game let you send like a was it what was it like a Deoxys or Darkrai to a Gen 4 game? think so, anyway. Oh, enemy sighted. Where? Oh, frog. Not now. I need that frog. Okay, I got the frog. Nice. We don't talk about guardian signs, so oh, is it bad? We'll experience it together. Nice shot, buddy. Big Frog, spread the word about you. I'm in a lot more of a Pokemon mood lately because of uh, Scarlet and Violet. Here goes, pay attention. Oh man, that one seems like it's gonna be finicky. Just draw a little bubble with feet. I feel like that one's gonna be weird, all right. Hang on. Go. Crap. Pirate lady gonna get me? I really don't want to deal with her right now. Oh, there's the island. Hang on. I can see it. The big DS island. Guardian Signs is the only one with Teddy Ursa, so you're telling me it's the best in the series and will never be beaten. Look there, that island isn't marked on our charts. It looks like we can dock there. Just add the island to your charts, why not set a course for it? Yeah, I know those games are very intensive on uh, the touchscreen because of how they're played. A lot of people report their DS is breaking because of enjoying those. Darn it, she's gonna get in the way now. All right, still more rotten the planks in your little shrimp barge. All right, I need to just go into her and get it over with. I'm not gonna be able to outrun her here. All right, let's do this. Bah. Ambush. Yeah, there's an island shaped like a DS. That's why I wanted to go to it. I really need hearts. Lineback, show yourself. Ah, you again? Little boy in green, any chance you might tell me where Lineback is? I didn't think so. Well, I suppose that means I'll have to deal with the two of you in order. Then we'll start with you. Prepare for punishment. Get my health back here. All right, there we go. Psh, not again. I have one last thing to say. I hope you're really proud of yourself, hear me? Yeah, we did it. 
Boy, I'm getting sick of seeing her face all the time. Hey, Link, here's a tip for you. Big red rupee. And we're shipping out, Link. Put these waters behind us. All right, let's go to the big question mark, finally. And I believe that traveler ship over there is the one that I give, the, like, the telescope guys. D.S. Island. Okay. Now it's here again. Ouch. Hang on, I need my grappling hook here. Audio all good, chat? You hear me just fine? I like my microphone's in a weird spot. I like how these things are meant to represent the little dots of the mic of like the speaker on the DS. Need arrows for them. There we go. What do I get for this? Oh, another gem I'm not gonna use. I just will take this opportunity to refill my arrows while I'm in here. One of those lads up that way. I don't remember what you actually do here, though. Oh, here we go. Exit on the upper right, prepare your shovel. Welcome to the game that's all the rage. Yes, the Goron game. So I want to take it for a spin? Or? Thank you, let me explain the simple rules of the Goron game. There are several targets scattered about the course, brother. Break all of them and the final path to the finish line will open. Think efficiently, think quickly, and most of all, think like a Goron and win. Did you get all that? Now I will introduce your daring sidekick in this Goron game. He'll be the one actually rolling around the course for you. Go for it, Gongoron. Yeah, brother. Alchemania time. I'm the one and only star on this island. My fans call me Gongoron. What? Hold on, what are you doing here, Goro Link? We were wondering the same thing. I got a part-time job to help my dad make ends meet. He's literally the leader. <laughs> a bet will be unstoppable with you rolling me around, Goro Link. Best time so far is 35 seconds, brother. Well then, let's go. Alright. Nothing to do except trial and error, I guess. Oh. Oh, this is weird. I think I vaguely remember something about this. Okay. No. Oh well. I missed one, so it's all over, I guess? Can it even be done anymore? Alright. The fairy can't even keep up. Yeah, I have to go all the way back now. Hang on, how do I reach that? How do I even reach that one? Oh my god, go around it. Oh, wait, I can slip through. I thought it was... Okay. I didn't think I'd be able to squeeze by it, honestly. Well, that's unfortunate. Normally, the fairy shows where I'm tapping the screen, but the fairy cannot keep up with this at all. Yeah, I'm not gonna try for the high score there. See, your time was one minute. That is, well, not good. Please open one of the chests and take a bad prize. Oh, I see how it is. Alright. You wanna play again? Nah. Own your skills and come back, brother. At least I got rupees at doing it. Did I get a profit, though? Did I get at least 30 doing that thing? Busy, busy, so busy. I have no idea where I should even start. We are too busy, so there's no time to help my dad. Alright. Well, 
I got some stuff from here anyway. Cool to show off the island. Looks aggravating. Looks like I have to do it perfectly, so yeah, I don't want to grind that for too long. What's with this island? Sort of a different shape, don't you think? Maybe it's just me. Want to set sail? Yes. There we go. Let's go over here. Traveler ship. It's a different shape. That's the frog I just got. Don't need to hit that. That's the Hoy Boys, whatever they were called. Where? Oh. These silly things. Oops, I attacked their ship. Hope they don't mind. Want to board this ship? Yes, I do. Oh, ho, I can't see anything. Oh, ho. Oh. How terribly rude of me. I'm a member of the Ho Ho tribe. Come from a country of way away to buy treasure. Charmed. Who's the one that didn't have one? This guy. Hmm? Oh, ho, that's a nice telescope you have there. May I see it? Oh. There, that has my name on it. Look on the back. In really small writing. Yes, indeed. That's my real name. Uh. I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce that. Ow. I bit my tongue. Regardless, this appears to belong to me. Thanks for delivering it. Please accept this gift as a symbol of my deep appreciation. Oh, don't worry. It's just something I picked up along the way. The guard notebook. Oh, this is for the guy in the, uh, the bottom left part of the map, I think. For now, check it on the selection screen. I saw it floating among the waves and picked it up. I'd like to return it to the rightful owner, but who is it? What a mystery. Hero guy stole it, that's right. Hang on, what's my health at? Perfect. Alright, let's just go up here for now. We can return the notebook later. We've did a little bit of exploring for now, we're good. We can stop by later after the dungeon or something. Every single time I reach for my drink, I get like the enemy sighted message and I'm like, oh god, and then I got awkwardly turn the camera. Oh, speaking of the devil. Where? In the sky. Oh, another frog? Alright. I don't know if I really need this one. Here we go. Nice shot, buddy. Wanna know what we draw on the cyclone slate? Pay attention. Here goes. Oh. The size of that W. That'll have to do. Did you get that? Wow, I just hit the load zone. That's hilarious. And yeah, I had a warp for there, but I'm already here now, so... Let's just go there. The golden frog. Alright, so the enemies in this section can get real annoying, so I gotta, like, actually focus on this. I'll return the guard notebook maybe after this part. Uh-oh. I gotta jump the shark, right? Pretty sure you can't hit them even when they're coming at you. Here we go. Too slow. Or rather too fast, I should say. Oh well. That could have been much worse. The sharks are annoying. I remember them being annoying too, yeah. Definitely gonna continue with the Zelda games next month, chat. Um, I think I still want to do, like, Oracle of Seasons next. That could be fun. Oh, this is a bad... This is really bad. Oh my god. They're all in the way. Oh god, you 
gotta be kidding me. Okay, they're dead, so let me go back and just get the treasure. It's sinking. I hope this will be safe. Let's just do that. I haven't played Seasons in forever, except that salty playthrough with my potato microphone when no one was watching. Okay. I really want to play the... Oh, wrong thing. Another reason I really want to play the Oracle games is people says there's also randomizers for them, and I really want to check that out, too. All right, let's do this again. Down we go. Okay, it wobbled me. Don't ask how the chain's up there. Don't strike the bombs. We don't ask that question. I also haven't even done a password link game ever. So I probably should play Seasons first and do the password for ages so I can do the true finale because I've never done that in my life for some reason. Here we go. I played ages in Minish Cap like a few years ago. Minish Cap's another one I definitely want to replay. That one's great. Ancient Anchor. Okay. And I want. I'm not really getting a bunch of matching, matching parts except that one handrail. If I didn't get that handrail earlier, I'd be dead right now, literally. See what's so dead about the Isle of the Dead. Graveyard in a pyramid. Spooky. Seems deserted for now, but this place wasn't always empty. I wonder if there's some secret hidden here somewhere. How about you, kid? What are you doing? I'll be fixing the ship. Go find yourself adventure. Free stuff. Oh boy, what do we got? Look, on top of that desk, there's a book there. Uh-oh. Hints? Journal of an este esteemed explorer, uh, McNay, I guess? Me? I don't know. Normally on a map, up is north, down is south, right is east, and left is west. But looking at a map today, I discovered the secret of this island. This island is shaped like the profile of someone wearing a crown. Uh, I, I guess I see it. I vaguely remember this now. It's coming back to me. He is looking east. If you look closely, you can see in his eye and mouth. Yeah, it looks like he should get the bottom of his mouth checked out. I don't think it's supposed to be shaped like that. I'm betting there's a big secret about the Cobble Kingdom here. I still haven't found the treasure that is supposed to be in this room. Tomorrow I'm planning to go to the temple in the northeastern quarter. Time to prove what I wrote in the article for the Explorer's Compass. There's supposed to be some absurdly cryptic puzzle or trick there. With my keen explorer sense, I should have it solved before lunch. And I will find the Aquanine and show them all. Aquanine? You think the pure metal's on this island? Well, it's worth looking. There's a bunch of books around. Let's read them. Hmm. Huh. So, is the metal on this island after all? I guess we'll see. Explorer's Compass, Riddle of the Lost Ancient Civilization. Volume 1, The Riddle of Cobble Kingdom Civilization. In the seas ruled by the Ocean King, the cultured Cobble Kingdom soared above all. It was more glorious than any city until it vanished from history. Ruled by the King and his four knights, the temple once held great treasure. Okay. Four knights, that sounds important. 
Explorer's Compass, Volume 2, Hidden Treasures, the Aquanine. Three great treasures are hidden around the seas. One is the Aquanine. Legend has it there is but one of each of these pure metals in the world. Legend also says one of the pure metals is kept in the Cobble Kingdom. Explorer's Compass, Volume 3, Lost Kingdom. Where did the Island of Dreams go? Some say there is treasure in the Cobble Kingdom, but no one has seen the island. Only the ancient legend remains. Some says it's an island of dreams. Proof must be found on the Isle of Dead, of the Dead to reach Cobble Kingdom. Explorer's Compass. The small island. In the area of ocean near the Cobble Kingdom, there's an uncharted island. Wonders are in common place in this kingdom of dreams. Okay, so there's treasure in this room. I guess I dig up? Try. I guess we'll see. Oh, I can dig under the shelf. Can I move the shelf? Can I roll into the shelf? No. Either way, I'm getting my hearts back by doing this, so let's try. Some goodies, chat. Goodies. There we go. Yeah, Zelda randomizers are great. I gotta get more of those going. There we go. Oopsie. The vanilla playthroughs have very much made me want to do some of those again. Still itching for more. And I doubt it'd be so easy as to do this. Three rupees. No, I don't want to check that. Uh. It said there was one in this room, but what the hell does that mean? Let me check it here. Treasure that is supposed to be in this room. What does that mean? They wouldn't highlight that for no reason. Maybe it bombed this. Oh. That worked! Oh. Okay. Let's not touch the Rupor chat. Oopsie. Carefully guiding Link. Oh, it won't even let me use the bomb shoe in here to scout it out. Oh, that's rude. Can I use... I can use the boomerang. If I throw the boomerang, it's just going to... Mm. Yeah. Oh, man, they thought of everything. I can just lose my rupees and go for it, but... I don't wanna. Oh, now you put them there. Very funny. Which one's a like-like? Just another gem. What does the courage effect do again? I know that power is, um... Uh, is that for my current set, actually? That might be helpful. Obviously, power is attack boost, and, uh, wisdom is defense boost, but I don't remember what courage does. I'm not gonna use it, because power is just better. Like, prow. Let's 
Treasure map. Yeah, we can get that later. Another thing here. Okay, nothing. By the way, chat, my mods were suggesting to me that for the next month I should try doing sub goals again. There we go. It'd be it could be fun. It's usually a slow month, so we can just kind of take our time, come up with some fun stuff and work towards that. Just put Crystal Kaizo on there as well, why don't we? Anyways, I got the treasures. It was a bunch of ship parts. Okay. For it again. No chances. Oh, the skellies are attacking. They're hopping like the ones in Link to the Past. Tapping them. Okay. Let's have a look around. I'm hopping into him, unfortunately. So here's a pyramid. Sacred tree grows from King's Chin, West 13, North 7. Okay, chat, you write that down because it's going to be a cluster if I just write it on this, on this map. From the King's Chin... West 13, North 7. Write that down. Get your teddy notebooks. The path to the, gra in the, uh, to the graveyard where the six sages dwell, hidden underground. The resting place of the fourth knight, Brant of the Cobble Kingdom. Phantom corridor ahead. Those without the way of the six sages are doomed. Okay, so I gotta get an item by doing this. Oh, I see. It's a lost... That uh, maze thing. Okay, let's keep looking around for more hints. First, we should find the king's chin and check that. Oh, there's tiles here to mark it. See who gets up. Bully. All right. King's Chin. Uh, it's. Did it say start from the tree? I genuinely don't remember now. Or does it count the chin as, uh, this part here? Probably doesn't. Like, it wants me to use the tiles. Okay. Is the tree the first one? Or do I start on this one first and then go West 13? Crap, I didn't read that part. Uh, let's just count the tree as, uh, zero then. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and north seven. One, two, three, four, five. Hang on a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So up this way from this one. Am I digging something up? Okay. Easy enough to know what to do there. I phased into the wall. Face west from the king's eye and shoot an arrow. Three rupees. They're making up for all those rupor. I still think we need, like, an emote of Teddy Ursa, like, writing in, like, a little notebook for moments like these. It would be adorable. Interactive part of the stream. We have a Teddy Ursa emote for almost everything now. Okay, rocks are rolling. I'm surprised I dodged that, to be honest.
Okay, nice. This is gonna take me to the eye then. From the king's eye, face west and fire an arrow. First this. Another treasure map. What does it mean here first or Oh, it means hit this switch. I didn't need a riddle to tell me that. I was going to dupe that after. I thought there was something invisible. Well, whatever. That wasn't even a riddle. It was just hit the switch that's there. Okay. Well, we got it. Now let's leave the skellies alone. We don't need their invitation. We're not playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Here rest the six ages to whom the way to the temple is known. Those who do not know will never pass the Phantom Corridor. Hey, hey. You got a bone to pick with me? Yeah, that's what I thought. I am the fourth sage. Go north. Do the thing. Alright, hang on. We gotta find... First, let's find number one. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to do this. Just find the order and write down the directions. That's all. Uh, would it be fine to just write it all on the bottom here? Six sages. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just write arrows above or below them. Pro the screen probably won't fit on the bottom part, though. Most of the words have been worn off and can't be read. Most of the words have been worn off and can't be read. I am the Sixth Sage. The Sixth Room is where Brant was laid to rest. So, nothing? I am the Fifth Sage. Go north. Okay. Make a nice little up arrow. Uh, I did that one. Next row. I am the second sage. Go east through the second room. Okay. I gotta fill in the arrow. I'm gonna make a crusty arrow for it. I am the third sage. Go east. Fill in that part. I am the fourth sage. Go north in the fourth room. That one, but I forgot what it said. And the first one's down here, right? I'm the first sage. Go north. Yeah, arrow. Okay, that looks like it, I guess. The gra are the graves laid out in the right pattern as well? Oh, I guess you're right. Yeah, it goes... They lead you to the next grave, don't they? That's, cu that's cute. All right. Up. Right. Who knew it would come to this? My name is that guy. I was once a famous explorer. I entered before solving the entrance puzzle and, be and came to the Phantom Corridor. But I could not get out and look what happened. The maze is madness. If you don't know which way to go, you'll end up walking in circles. Circles. If I keep going down, I should be able to reach the entrance. If you haven't solved the puzzle yet, find the entrance while you can. Otherwise, you'll end up like me. If he knew how to get out, why did he die? Before you're able to find the exit, cursed remain here forever. Okay. Right. Looks like I'm in the same room, though. Right. Up. Up. Wow. He really could have brute forced that. <laughs> Instead, he just died. 
This is where the dead of the Cobble Kingdom long ago lay to rest. I am one of the four knights chosen by the king. I am the fourth knight, Brant. Those spirits you have with you, they are power, wisdom, and courage, yes? Why are the three spirits of the Ocean King with you? It's a secret. I see, I won't ask if you don't want to tell me. That's all, go away. This is where the dead of the Cobble Kingdom... All right, let's talk. I can't believe what has happened to the Ocean King while we slept. So that is why you were looking for the Aquanine. We grew rich under the Ocean King's protection. We must do something. I believe our King Muto has the Aquanine that you're looking for. If you explain your quest, you may convince him to give it to you. Venture forth through the door. All right, then. So now I'm here. Anything else around this way? Regal necklace. A mysterious necklace is adorned with curious charms. King Muto, the holder of the Aquanine, is not here. He is on an island that is guarded by a rock wall, the Isle of Ruins. You'll need that regal necklace to get there. That will calm the cyclone at the entrance so your boat may pass. There, look for the third knight, Bremer. Got it? Go. Oh, I must return to my slumber. Some kingdom if it was just uh, a couple islands. Was this before or after the flood? Well, it looks like you did it. But we set sail. Because if they serve the Ocean King, that would that would imply this was after the flood, right? Okay, probably faster if I just do uh, the slate. Oops. There we go. Let me get a drink here. Zelda is so comfy, chat. You gotta love it. All right. Hmm. I wonder if I should go see Beetle before I do anything. I gotta spend my money on something before I get Rupert again. She's gonna be coming by, but whenever Lineback will just give me more money. All right, yeah, let me stretch. There better not be an enemy during this. Ooh. There we go. Heck yeah. Stretch and make the teddies happy. If I break my spine, the teddies will be sad. And yet, yeah, she's coming. All right, let's just go get her over with. I'll break your ship in two. Bah! Ambush. I just realized, you see that? If I try to... Huh. That's not captured? Weird. So chat, if I try and click on the top screen on the gamepad, there's a big icon that appears that says, it's like, it says no stylus, but it doesn't show up on the capture. Probably because it's not showing up on the TV. Only I can see it. Only on the gamepad. Weird. Okay. You again. Little boy in green, any chance you might tell me where Lineback is? Mm, I didn't think so. Well, I suppose that means I'll have to deal with you in order. I'll say the same thing every time. Come on. Ow. All right, do the thing, please. And she's done. 
Not again. I have one last thing to say. You should really learn to give a girl a break, hear me? Hey, did she look maybe like uh, she's getting a few pimples on her nose? Uh, how do I have time to know stuff like that? I was in a crate. It was boring. Cut me some slack. Anyway, let's clear out. I want to put these waters behind us. Oh. No prize? That's annoying. I want a prize. Ugh, I'm feeling a bit stuffy. There we go. Beetle shop ship. Hi, Mina. Thank you for the raid. Oh, welcome. You find anything you need here at Beetle shop ship? Your point total is 10. I already have that. 1,500 rupees. No point getting another. Weighty anchor. I don't know what that goes with. Red potion. Do I need it? Bye, please come again. I do have potions full. Okay. I guess I don't need anything from them. Ah, hi, welcome. All right, let's go here. Into the Island of Ruins. Or Isle of Ruins. Big Pyramid. What? Did you see that, kid? The Cyclone just vanished. I guess that story about the necklace opening the way was true after all. Alright. Um, before I forget, let's just get this now. It's gonna be annoying to get it later. I can hit the island with a cannon. Not that that ever does anything. Hmm. Ugh, hold back a cough here. Demon ship is best I can do. Come on now. Welcome, Pedro. Alright, let's get another ship part that I definitely won't want. I just want to find another one that gives me, like, another minute with the hourglass. That'll be handy. Let's bring it up. I swear, there's only like three different layouts for these. Pick it up and don't let it drop. Praise there. Haven't missed much. I'm not sure when you left, though. I'm also not sure when you stepped away. Had to deal with Jolene again. And now we're picking up treasure. Oh. Coral. I got coral. I don't need that. Well, let's go over here then. This will be fun. I did a bit of ocean exploring today. Didn't get too much out of it though. Mostly just ship parts for um Yeah, I get I guess I got myself an extra heart by picking up the ship parts, which was really needed for this part of the game. The sharks get really annoying to jump over. All right. Next one. Oh, this might take... Uh, yeah, I, I gotta visit the other three nights before I go there. Oh, God. Yeah, let's, let's get this over with. 
What a weirdly shaped island. Can't be natural. I think it's safe to say this is the Cobble Kingdom. Old kingdom on an island. What do we got here? Gauntlet. Probably gonna be Zora's. Yeah, who saw that coming? Okay, there we go. Give me the red rupee. Now let's go in here. To those with power, the path to the kingdom will bring glory. Path to the kingdom, huh? So we can finally go deeper to the island? I think he said we should see the third night, right? Okay. So which one am I heading to first? I guess whichever order they lead me to. Alright then. How do I read that? Take our time. Take a look around. Ugh. Pardon me, I feel like I'm just gonna sneeze. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Mm. I just talk weird, cuz ah, I don't need that right now. Go away. How come we were just trying to get that out of my system? Go for it again. No! Oh, how wasn't it in there? to happen. Gotta look for something around here to maybe access that. Come on! I'm trying to tap the thing, but it won't count it until it's, like, fully out. Ah, there we go. And the butt. Okay. Guess it's real. So I couldn't really find anything over there. I'm just confused. Hang on. Doesn't seem like I can... Well, there's no little pyramid there, so I guess I go this way. The third night's probably up here. Oh, jeez, that messed me up. Hang on. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Throat just got messed up because of that sneeze. God, it's so hard when that ha annoying when that happens because I feel like I can't talk and I just have to awkwardly stop and get it out of me. So I gotta mute. Gonna mute, chat. Gonna mute so there's no gross noises. Yeah. Okay, this must be it. Impressive ruins they got here. I wonder if the pure metal's here. No. Let's get the king's key so we can wake up this land from its long sleep. Because these amazing ruins means there has to have been a kingdom here long ago. I'm starting to think the pure metal might be here. This is the Cobble Kingdom, island of the sea people that were destroyed long ago. I am one of the four knights who serve under the king. I am the third knight. I defend the seal of the land. You boy with the regal necklace. Something where the king, uh, where King Mudo is needed. You seek the pure metal to forge a sacred sword to slay a great monster. Our King Mudo did have a pure metal you speak, you seek. But a monster entered his temple, awakened him from his sleep. He is enraged. Can you enter his temple and slay the monster? Can you calm the king's great rage? 
Well then, show us how you can defeat the monster and soothe the angry king. Once the king has calmed down, I believe he will be willing to hear your story. To enter the great temple of King Mudo, the seal of the land must be resurrected. Meet the second knight, Doylan, who sleeps in the temple of the island's east. I thought it said Dylan for a second. I was confused. The temple is treacherous, but if you can overcome it, he will acknowledge you. I will open the, another path for you. Let it lead you. All right. Let's do it. Next temple, ahoy, chat. Oops. What happened to all the kingdom people? All that's left is the four knights. Go over there. That's the path he mentioned. Now we can get to the second knight. All right. Let's get over there. All right. Pop you. Which one's the second one? Whatever one I'm allowed to get to, basically. Oh, jeez. I feel like I need to down some cold frickin' water because my throat is dry as hell now. Okay, no care. I guess this is the right one, yeah. Hang on a second. I'm just gonna tap the, the crusty microphone button for that now. Ugh, jeez. I'm not still muted, am I? Okay, good. Gosh, I hate when this happens when I'm streaming of all things. I can tank the damage. They can't stop. Oh. Okay, that was just rude. Rude game. Can't make me fight them. I don't have to. I just ran past everything. <laughs> I am the second knight, Doylan. I am the protector of the key that keeps the land sealed. I am impressed, impressed you were able to clear the traps and monsters in the temple. I will not stop one who is trying to return the king to sleep. Take the king's key. Some say it holds secrets to the Cobble Kingdom. Take good care of it and check it on the collection screen. Take the key and return to the third knight. Release the seal and restore our kingdom to its rightful shape. Okay. Easy enough. All right. Back we go. Am I even able to backtrack all the way? I should be able to. Gonna go up and around this way, I suppose. Yes, yeah, be fine. Okay, there he is. Now I've played this years and years ago, many times. All right, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce his name, but we'll get it. I absolutely need to drown a drink right now. Holy crap. Yeah. That click is just me tapping that mute button. <laughs> I hack my guts out. Sneeze messed me up, chat. I'm the one who's dying. I'm going to be the next ghost here. Oh, wait. What am I doing? I got to use this first. Is it just Bremer? Or was there another letter in there? I don't even know. Thanks for giving us up there, Yo-Yo. Everybody gets a bear. The seal has been broken with the king's key. The land has been resurrected. Take the new path and meet the first knight, Max. That's kind of a weird name for... All right, we'll go see Max. Okay. Amazing. Look, Link, the shape of the island changed. Half the island that was underwater is now floating. The water is drained away. Let's get down. Okay. Is 
Let's get down and follow the way. All the way to the first night, chat. Oh, people were just drowning down there. That's cool. Where did the water drain to? What was keeping it from just pouring out into the ocean anyway? There we go. Yeah, chat, in days like these, we all need a little bear. Uh. I see. No. Ah, come on. doesn't do anything to it. No, they're not gonna let me hit it from there. Just gotta, gotta make that one up there roll, I guess. Maybe I'd feel a little bit better if I wouldn't uh, also, uh... Oh, like, what's the word? I stayed up... I ended up being, like, up late last night. Stuff out of my control. That wasn't very fun. At least I'll probably sleep better tonight. Gotta be along the path. Oh, wrong thing. Can't pull the boulder. Was that nothing? Was that nothing? No, it's a path. Golly gee whiz, I sure don't need that. good. That's alright though, chat. Even if we have rough nights sometimes, it's comfy time right now. Because video games are comfy, are they not? Do you deny this information? I certainly don't. Yeah. You know, if we need a teddy bear notebook emote, well, you know what we also need? We need like a teddy sick emote <laughs> for moments like this. But, we, but I don't want to make the bear sick. That wouldn't be very nice. There we go. Maybe I should do something with Teddy Ursa as one of those sub-goal ideas. Just a Teddy Ursa run of a game. All Teddy Ursa's, nothing else. Hmm. Cup Chew. Well, that's only like Gen 5 and up, though. There we go. Dr. Teddy? Heck yeah. Oh, I can't believe that went all the way there. I was trying to put a spin in. I am the first knight, Max, so a human can break this island seal. I can allow you to meet him if you aim to defeat the monster, as you say. However, you must first pass the trial I am about to present to you. Do you just seek to face my trial? Yes. Tap it. I see, then allow me to explain. To enter the kingdom's temple, you must draw the secret crest on the corridor door. Discover the crest and the great corridor door will open for you. You must solve the riddle written on the tablet in the corridor. I will open the entrance to the corridor. Now be on your way. Alright. Solve the riddle. Get your teddy notebooks ready. Oh, you mean Cub Chew for the emote. Oh, yeah, I, th I see what you mean, because it's already a, sne a sneeze bear. It's got the little giant snot bubble like it's already sick. Oh no. That's the entrance to the corridor of the Great Temple. People have been asking if we get a Cub Chew emote for uh, winter or something. That would be nice. I still haven't even had snow. Last night there was a bit of frost on the ground again, but like it's gone. I just want it to snow outside for crying out loud. So this is the corridor door. The tablet is over here. The tablets in the surface labyrinth, uh, the crest will appear on the map of he who knows its secret solution. Surface labyrinth? You think that's, like, a maze? Did you see anything like that on the island? So I gotta go to the maze again. The tablets in the surface labyrinth. The crest will appear... On the map of he who knows the solution. Alright, so we gotta go back to the maze and solve this. 
This part's really making me work for it to get into the temple this time. Like, I go to the Gorons, and they're like, how many Gorons live in houses? <laughs> this one's just like solving the ancient secrets of a forgotten kingdom. There we are. All right. Back to the maze we go. Oh, come on, Link. You jumped it. So I gotta get to those tablets and read them, I guess. I'll probably just write the symbols and I'll connect them. Three, travel northwest from me. Okay, first I need my starting point. Oh, it looks safe. Every time. When the five stars are aligned, the crest shall be revealed. Okay. You're not at one I need, though. Figure that much out. Two, travel south from me. Okay. Oh, that's a bad two. I'm gonna erase that. I'm gonna do that again. That's also an unsatisfactory two. That'll do. That was safe. Color me shocked. You got a power gem. You won't use it. How many do I have for each of those now? Yeah, I'm not going to get all 20 in the game for power to get the second attack boost. It'd be nice, but it's not worth it. <laughs> the time and effort for it. Uh, I need to check the, the left part of the map now to find it. So, wait, no, this is meant to be the final one. Oh, no, four, never mind. Travel southwest from me. Four. Where was the first one? Is the, ex the explanation tablet didn't have a star on it, so... Oh, there goes that. Hang on a second, actually. Five, travel north from me. The path the stars will reveal. Okay. You got a five. These like-likes are getting real and obnoxious here today. One, travel east of me. Okay, there we go. All begins and ends with me. Okay. So, eh. Ooh. E. Ooh. E. Alright. That's a pretty simple shape. Crests in these games are never anything, like, spectacular or cool-looking. It's always just, like, yeah, connect the dots and make, like, a square or something. That's our ancient- that's our ancient civilization's, like, uh, symbol or whatever. You wanna open the door? Draw like that. Two triangles and, like, a- on, like, a rectangle. Now, how do I get out of here? I think I can't get back up except by the one tablet, so let me do that again. Looks like I'll have to take a long way around. No, there's a door over that way, so... I'm not gonna fight these guys. They just get in the way and they get real annoying. Back to the corridor in the right part of the island. Oops. A lot of the puzzles for, um... Like, getting into these ancient temples are, like, the kind of stuff you'd use an eight, like a Dakota ring from a cereal box on. Here we go. Now, hang on a second. How did I... Let me just go around to the top, I guess. It looks like that's fine. We gotta save the king. Alright, we got it. 
Let's write it down now. They even have the markers for it. I really could have just brute forced that if I wanted. Whoa. Wait, what? Huh? But it appeared. How could I have drawn it wrong if I... Oh, that one, I kind of wobbled it a bit. It's hard to, for it to read the lines. What am I doing? I drew a square for some reason. <laughs> I just ignored the middle one that time. All right, I don't know what was wrong with that first attempt. Chat, you got any ideas what I did there? I know a child is supposed to be able to figure it out. But I am saying that this video game is unrealistic and you should listen to me. There we go. Oh, that still hit him. That was a little awkward. We got him. It's very precise. Remember getting stuck on it. See, the thing I don't get, though, is that it appeared for a second, but it said... So, obviously, it knew I was trying to draw that shape. So, why did it not read it? That doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> it's so weird. Oops. We know you were trying to draw the answer, but we didn't think you, uh knew the answer. Alright, chat. So we're in the last temple before, uh, the real last temple. Look at this place. I bet it's packed with traps. We'd better be extra careful here, Link. Alright. I made these appear. Oh. I see. Bombs by time. Wow, I didn't figure that one out. <laughs> He who chooses the hidden path over the long road will cross in time. Okay. There's a hidden path. Did I cross in time? First, let me get a lay of the land here. Okay, that just opens. Okay. Open a shortcut when I do one. Alright, it's just gonna stay there forever because I've crossed now. Shortcut opened. Game decided I didn't want it enough. Yeah. Mm, you didn't open this door right. I'm just weird how like, I, I just find it weird how something like that's programmed where it's like draw the symbol to open the door but they made it so that yeah we know you were we, we know you tried to draw that symbol but you still failed it <laughs> it's so weird there we go did I get hit by that huh or did I bonk the spike maybe I must have bonked the spike that's weird. I thought the torch hit me for a second. Didn't look like I was close enough, though, for the spikes. Alright, so I got one side up. Oh, well, alright, there we go. I'm just gonna go this way. Can't stop me. Can't stop me! Alright. Let's see what we got here. We die. Gee, I wonder what I should do there, chat. In these suspicious-looking areas. Oh. Oh, that's what it meant. I thought that bomb was going to be related to the one on the other side. There's still plenty of time to get to it without this. That wasn't... 
super necessary. Well, whatever. What do I know? I hate you. Damn. Hidden path here. Or there. Oh, well. So no secret path for this one where the timing's actually... Ooh, come on. I didn't walk all the way down. Sky bat. Come on, square. Okay. I almost fell and the game decided, nah. We gotcha. Gotcha, bro. So many shortcuts for a small area. Yeah, that, that was unnecessary. Oh, well. Two skellies? Two skellies for that entire endeavor. Okay. That opens that. First room's done. Oh, the audio is too quiet now. Hang on, I may have it a little lower than normal. Let me turn it up. There we go. Throat's feeling a little bit better now. Yeah, okay, it was just this, just opening this over here. Yeah, every so often when I stream, I just kind of, hmm. There we go. Sometimes I'll just have like a sneeze and it'll just throw off my throat for a little bit when talking. One of those things you don't like even think could ever be a problem unless you uh, are talking to like an audience for like hours at a time. Skelly. Got him. This looks safe. It looks super safe. need the hammer for that. And for the shell enemies, they're like the one from ones from Link to the Past. Oh, come on, I swung my sword. These things gotten on my nerves so much. Oh, now the boomerang pulls them up. Pearl necklace. Not a huge deal. Go this way. Yeah, come here. Come here. Get and hail me there, bro. There was one of these things earlier. I wonder what it is. I think I saw one in the Temple of the Ocean King, too. Looks like a switch, but it's rusty and probably won't budge if you stand on it. Need the hammer for that. I'm probably going to get it from this room, judging by the shape of it. Nice. I do like the music in this game, but, like, it is kind of a shame how, um, like, just really repetitive the dungeon music is. You got a hammer. It's small, but it packs a punch. Tap something to hit it. Tap and hold to build power. Power, sorry. Can get even larger? Loading hammer. Just give it to my fairy to use. Apparently this weapon's stupid busted and lets you skip things. If you get it, if you somehow manage to get it early, touch the footprint, slam the pillar. There we go. What 
you gotta say, bro? Boing! There's no treasure chest on this floor. Excellent. I guess we're just falling here. Please move back this way. Which opens up that. I guess, yeah, we're just going back down. Everything's taken care of on this end. Get turtled. Remember in, like, the Oracle games, the way they handle the turtles is, like, if you bump into them with your shield active, it flips them. But they just went Link to the Past with these ones. Get that boulder to bonk that. Easy enough, Chad. Easy enough. The hammer looks like it's made of wood, too. I know this is, like, me not knowing what I'm talking about, but I feel like a wooden hammer would, like, uh, not be the best thing for breaking stone and rusty metal. There we go, it hit it. Wind Waker had the skull hammer, yeah, that's right. That weird thing. I want to go farther. There we go. Sometimes it gets stuck. It's weird. Activate the spinning spine of death. Oh, I missed my chance. Well, darn. Yeah, better for woodwork, I'd say. Obviously. You son of a... Okay. That skeleton just bonked me right off, chat. Oh, look, he's dead. So I hit them all, right? There we go. Your chest. Courage gem. small key. I just feel like a, a small, like, wooden hammer that fits in your hands. Well, I mean, this one's magic and grows to a giant size, so it's different, but, like, you know, it probably wouldn't make the best weapon. You get like, a little bonk with it, but, you know. I don't know, maybe there, there's some made out of some really strong wood. I know, no, I know nothing about this. I'm, this stream is probably going to anger the, uh the wood mallet community when it goes up. Okay, that's water down there in a door, so I'm gonna drain the water somehow. Came back from here, opened that up. Oops. No, I didn't want to go back down. But, yeah, I got everything there, so I guess I'm supposed to head back up. Oh, I have the key now, so I just opened the door. I thought maybe I was looking for an extra switch, but nah, this is just the way to go. Oh, okay, it's a water drain thing. Alright, let's have a look. I'm surprised I can walk over these. I see. I kind of messed it up, though, so... That enemy made me mess it up, I should say. I'm gonna stand off of it, for crying out loud. I messed it up from doing a simple frickin' solution now, huh? I need to reset the room. The path will open, the mighty attacks change the color of the tiles. Crap. Now I just gotta deal with it. 
I'm bad at these when I mess them up. I could have easily done it from like the... I could have easily done it when they were all X's, but the skeleton made me hit part of it. Okay. Gosh darn. Golly. Now I'm just going in circles. <laughs> Damn it. Crap, I feel like I'm overlooking something super obvious now with this. There we go. Figured it out. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. Give me a bonk. Arrows it is. There we go. Water is back. Can I not? No, I can't go on that at all. It just sticks out to show you it's there. Ah. All right, chat. Let's do it again. I shall figure it out at some point. It would help if I could stand in a spot that lets me see it all. Wait. I just realized I could probably use it to my advantage to actually stand on it. I'm a fool. I assumed that was only something that would mess it up, but now I have an idea. First, we just need them all to be circles. Yeah. I get it now, but now it's messed up. See what I mean? That's what I meant. I could have just stood on it in the center and just looped around. No, that probably wouldn't have worked, but you get what I mean. I get you now. I get you now, game. Hang on. What am I shooting? Who am I shooting? Where are they at? Oh, it's the same. It's the same one over there. I see. Clever puzzles. Okay, that's all that. Down we go. Boy, here we go. More of these. <laughs> let's let's struggle with them. Boing! There are no treasure chests on this floor. Good. I don't want them. Make them all your own. Okay. It's all messed up. Let's just start it over. Hard reset. No, don't want to tap it. They mixed it up a bit by doing it like this now, chat. So just, I'm going to hit it a bunch of times until eventually it looks like it'll, it'll work right. Wait, I can hit the edges too? Oh. 
hitting the tiles around that softens the blow. I didn't realize that. Okay, that's helpful. So that means... Yep. Okay, that, that was much easier once I realized that. That's why they're highlighted. All right. Well, it worked. Up we go. Up we go. Teddy's cheer, they've solved the baby puzzle. Uh-oh. Open the path, create the true form here. Can I... Okay, I gotta be elevated for that. Can't hit the surrounding tiles with that now, huh? Nope, not high enough. Doesn't look like the arrows will reach it though, because it's off if it's off uh, screen. Really? But is there another one over here or what? Oh, I see, I see. I gotta make it face downward. Okay, so now I gotta solve this one. Red and blue, when they are aligned in their true form, the path will uh, open. Aligned? Uh, I'm not just going all for red this time? Hang on a second. Does it want me- it wants me to copy the pattern that's beneath the water, doesn't it? Let me- let me change this again. Because my hammer can't reach this one. Okay. Make it match that. I'm trying to just ingrain it into my head there. Well, I don't have to raise the water, so I can just do like this. Okay. Okay. There we go. Easy. Uh, right. I should raise the water again, I guess. Oh, wait. No, I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that at all. Okay. That went through me, so I should have counted as being on it. So now that I did that... Okay, there's chests here. I thought I'd been over here before. Big green rupee, yada yada. Boulder. Am I supposed to... Aha! Clever puzzle. Clever puzzle for clever bears. Pick that up first. Okay, small key. I don't remember where I saw another small key door, though. This doesn't blow up, I don't think. Nope, but I had to check. That's got to be the big key up there. Weird to approach a locked door from this angle, though. Okay, that's that. Weird how it works sometimes. So 
so far so good. So I'm gonna push it over. Yeah, to break that, I see. Oh. Behind it. Beautiful. Big key. Alright, so now that I've done that, um, where was the big door again? I guess I'm supposed to take it back this way. Oh, that doesn't work. Thought for sure I was supposed to launch it, but that didn't work. Okay, then I guess I'll carry it to the stairs all the way over there. That'll probably take me to it. Just walk. Or I could just toss it. That'd be much faster. That boulder is back now. Just despawned. Oh boy, this will be fun. Hammer time, chat. No bully skellies will be left alive after this. It's weird how they make this whole mechanic for carrying the big key to the big door, but you really never have to take it far at all. I feel like they just kind of gave up with that concept as soon as they introduced it. Anyways, that's the dungeon, I guess. Still really bugs me how every dungeon has the same repetitive soundtrack. That's a, such a bad thing about this game, I feel. Do, 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 do. It's just, it's, uh... Do more with it, Spirit Tracks? Alright, well, I'm looking forward to replaying Spirit Tracks to see what they change in that. I only ever played that one once. Not looking forward to getting the Spirit Flute to work properly. Step into the blue light. I got potions, and these will probably refresh me to full. So I believe this is a boss that requires uh, both screens again. So this might be a little awkward with my layout, but bear with me. Bear with me indeed. I got my Teddy Ursa plush. All right. Eox, ancient stone soldier. Oh, I remember this one. This one's cool. Egg Golem from Sonic Adventure. Cool. Battle. Just whack it until it blows apart. Yeah, I hear the spear flute is garbage, even on OG Hard War, especially. Because everyone's DS mics just stop working. be like a, a Dark Souls boss in a different art style. Whoops. Keeps turning too much for me. How is he still moving when he's just wood? It's just annoying to get behind him. I'd say it feels like the Dodongo boss was probably the most annoying one combat-wise because of how you have to switch between the characters. Ah. Whoop. 
What? That doesn't count? Oh, come on. Oh, that one in the back of his head. Come on. No. I keep just missing my chance to properly stand on it. head didn't, was turning the wrong way at that moment. Why? Oh, come on. No spring there. Yeah, 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 whatever game. I guess I can hit those eyes now. Oh no, there's new stuff on the front of them, I see. enough or does it gravitate me towards him it's kind of weird when i lift in this phase okay this should land on him all right there we go yeah it is a pretty involved fight for the hardware not super hard but it does feel fun because of the way they set it up which is cool I think that's what they kind of aim for for a lot of boss fights in this series. But these ones do feel refreshing after Twilight Princess because as much as I love Twilight Princess, the boss fights are piss easy. Even as like when I was like a teenager playing it for the first time, I remember walking into like the Goron Mine boss fight. You see that giant intimidating monster and it just dies in three hits. <laughs> it feels so disappointing. And all hero mode does on HD is, is just make you take more damage. It's still piss easy on even on that. You got more sand for the Phantom Hourglass. Two minutes have been added. Nice. So chat, we got the medals. And let's get this. I don't feel like I really got a heart container hunt, but we can check out some of the other remaining treasures in the ocean. The majority of it, though, is just ship parts I don't really need. Like, yeah, that's, that's why this game I remember so fondly, because, like, there's just a lot of touch... All of it's, like, DS gimmick stuff. Some of it hasn't exactly aged well to be considered fun playing it nowadays, but for the time, like, it was such a... They really, like, used that... Everything that system can do, and it was kind of cool. Ah, so you are the one who restored silence to our temple. My name is Mudo. I am the king of the Great Cobble Kingdom. Only the true hero would have with him the three spirits of the Ocean King. Not to mention the ability to defeat that foul beast. I know what you seek. So you say the Ocean King is in dire trouble. I can't help in my current state, but your presence gives me great confidence. I will give you our sacred tre treasure, the Aquanine. Please take it with you. I will now return to my blissful slumber. We are all counting on you to help the Ocean King. Oof. He got green metal. You got the Aquanine. Only a sword forged of the three pure metals has the power to defeat Balum. Nice. You did it. You got the pure metal from this island, Link. Come on, let's hurry back to Lineback. Ah, Lineback. He does nothing the whole game. 
<laughs> oh, let me get a drink. My throat's feeling better now. I, I just gotta get out of my system sometimes. Oh yeah, that's what I was writing down there. So I know what the sword we're getting is. Um, it, the sword you get for ma uh, making all the medals is actually um, Toon Link's level 2 sword in Hyrule Warriors. There you go. Taking a bit of a break from Hyrule Warriors. I still want to play more of it. <laughs> I'm like over a thousand hours into that game. Nowhere near done. So repetitive. I don't know why I like playing it so much. And I'm not going to finish it this year either, but I'm going to play lots more. Pop. Knock down. What's that? You got it? You got the pure metal? Well, what are we still doing here? Let's go! Alright then, get on board. We're setting sail. So I don't think I have a frog warp for uh, that part of the ocean, right? He's in like the upper left parts of the map. I gotta go over to these anyway, so let's check them. And I guess we can check the trading quest still too, whatever that does. <laughs> I don't know how long it is. We'll have to see. That's about two hours. Yeah, because as it is now, we're just got like a cutscene, basically, and then we're going to like the end of the game. That's all that's left to do. So I can do a little other things. But I don't want to bloat this with like two or three hours of just running around the ocean to get rupees. That would be very fun. Linebeck may have lent me his ship. But that doesn't matter. Where's the enemy at? I don't see the enemy. There they are. No. No. Get him. All right, let's salvage and see what this is. I don't think I really need any extra sand for the hourglass at this point, but I take it over another useless ship part. I don't remember if you actually can get an extra heart container from this. All the way to the bottom, Link. All these rupees and I've spent it on nothing. What? It went through the side of it. Oh, come on. Usually gravitates towards it. All right, let's try again. Let's try again. I'm not, I'm not unhappy. I'm not unhappy. Why would it be unhappy, chat? Does this sound like the sounds of an unhappy moomin? I don't think so. Just keep going. There we go, now it gravitated. Yeah, keep going. Just ignore that lad over there. Can't look at you right now, chat. I gotta bring this up first. Okay, and we're free. Unhappy human, hey. Resent that. Oh. What am I trying to do? Make my ship like something Funky Kong would build? Well, may as well go up here and then we'll check the other side of the ocean. Don't remember what unhappy moments sound like? Well, that's good, because they're... It's a sad sight. You don't want to do that to yourself. Uh-oh. I can't hit any of them. Looks like they're pissing off. Alright, 
we'll get this. And I guess that's it for treasure hunting for now. Uh-oh. All right, let's see what we got. Okay. I just realized that the design on this thing I'm using on the touchscreen, the left side is a tail and the other part is the seahorse's head. That's a very minor thing that they didn't have to do, but I appreciate it. I've never noticed that right until now. Okay. Well, I tried to turn it. Okay. Take it up this way. Not for sure that was gonna bonk it. Oh well. All right. Please be something good. Oh. Probably goes with the barrel thing. I guess. Hang on, can I even enter this part of the sea through here? Isn't it sealed off by rocks? I'm probably gonna have to do a frog warp, but let me go this way anyway. Set sail once again, chat. There's only a monster in them now, waters. Northwestern Sea. Uh, is there any point to being around here or what? Like, there's just the other side of the island, but I can't dock. the rocks. I didn't see that enemy there. Ugh. There might- this might only be, uh, like, coming over here might only be good for, like, getting certain treasure maps or something once you have them. I guess they probably put some X's here. That's all I can think of the purpose of this space would be. Can't dock over there, even it's there, so alright. I thought that first one was perfect. Still funny how the slate's a Game Boy Advance cartridge randomly. Okay. I think there's too many ship parts for how long the game is, yeah. For sure. They kind of expect you to grind out post-game, like, even longer than, uh, that. So that ship in the bottom left is who wants the guard notebook. Should probably bring that to him. I never did get the frog for over there, though. Second thought, I'll go to that guy later. Let's go to the blacksmith. Let's do that. Again, I'd have more ship parts if I had access to the battle mode. I would I would have loved to spend an entire stream playing that, but I physically can't. I don't know if there's some kind of way to like set that up online with the E-word thing, but 
Maybe some indie game out there recreated it, for all I know. That would be sick. The best indie games are the kind that re- like, uh... Basically make a sequel to something that's never getting a sequel ever. Let's see here. Excellent. Cross the sea yet again. Where? No, go. What, where is it? Can't see it. That was unlucky. Man, I really wish I found the frog here earlier, but I just didn't come across it, I guess. All right, chat, let's go. All the way back down. At least I can warp back to Murkay Island. It'd be super tedious if you uh, didn't have the golden frog the whole time. It'll take a little bit to get there, but we're almost there. It's important we get that sweet, sweet lore. What is his name again? Zaz? Please, fellas, I don't need my ship sunk right now. I'm not gonna bother getting their drop treasure. The pirate ships can only drop, um... What is it? I think they can only drop more ship parts, right? The rarity of most ship parts differs in every save file, as well as the sell prices. Really? That's strange. You talking like all this stuff is just kind of randomly generated once the game is started or something? Man, that would annoy the hell out of me. I wonder if anyone runs 100% for speedruns of this. I don't think that's true. Well, anyway, so you found the three pure metals, Link. I'm not surprised. You've always been the hero chosen by the Ocean King. Except for the golden set. Well then, please hand me the pure metals. The Crimson Eye, the Azure Eye, and the Aquanine. I've never seen metal like this. I bet I can forge a mighty sword with them. But it will take some time. Went through a lot to get this. Forging a great magical sword is not a simple task. Have patience. Alright, so how about I just exit and uh, re-enter? Forging... Oh. How long does this actually take? Special delivery. This is a letter from Jolene. Ahem. Should be a good one. Oh boy. Little boy in green. So you got me and got me good. Humiliation burns hot in my pirate blood. And so my mind is haunted with this one searing word. Revenge. Yes, I demand a rematch to see who's truly the strongest on the sea. I have sharpened my skills since we last clash. I'm unbeatable and will fall and all will fall beneath my blade. Oh yes, somewhere on these vast seas our paths will cross again. If you have any honor at all, you will meet me in battle one last time. The mighty she-pirate, Jolene. And that's all it says, but a bit disturbing, wasn't it? Were you just challenged to a duel? Get that often? Whoa, first threatening letter I've, I've seen. Okay, sign here. Hopefully she doesn't defeat you. Ooh-woo. Woo, thanks much. No, ooh-woo, good sir. You made my day, sir. I'm walking on air. Am I gonna have to do this while I wait for the, the medal to get done? What? We got a letter from Jolene challenging us to a duel? And actually gonna accept, are ya? Of course! You know you don't have to respond to her ranting and raving, don't you? She's your crazy friend. Why does Link get stuck in the middle of this? She can't deal with people who are stronger than she is, that's all. People are jealous. They see my handsome face and have to challenge me. They don't understand that Linebeck's true love is peace. 
What I'm saying is I avoid a fight wherever and whenever I can. There's just something about her that doesn't seem quite right. I can't deal with her anymore, Link. But there's a part of me that would like to set Jolene straight. And only you can do that, kid. Just show her how weak she really is. We gotta show her how crazy she is and restore peace to the seas, I guess. Always thinking about yourself. So what should we do? We can't just ignore her. It seems like Zaz needs some time. So, yep, I have to do this before uh, he finishes the sword. Maybe we should go check things out. I knew you'd say that. I should have said what I knew you'd say. All right, Crazy Jolene, we're coming for you. Prepare to set sail, kid. All right, she's down there. However, I want to make my way towards the, the guy who dropped his notebook in the lower seas. Surprise, this one worked. So let's go back to the south and set a course so I can give the guy's notebook. Am I anywhere close to completing the trading quest? Oh, she's not here? She'll probably show up. She was here earlier. Oh well. It should be relatively safe to travel this way. Trading quests in Zelda can almost be fun. Almost be fun. I have all these rupees and nothing I spent them on. Don't really feel like hunting for- oh crap. There we go. Wahoo indeed, Linebeck. Wahoo indeed. We'll have to go back to the, the bottom of that sea anyway. Like when I go north, I'll be next to Jolene when I'm done. So don't worry too much. Just want to give the dude his notebook. Oop. Where are you? Oh, now she's coming down here. She'll probably be right next to me once I warp back when I'm done here. Squid is dead. I like how in the actual overworld, all the islands actually look like mountaintops. <laughs> like they're meant to, but they look like just like an awkward flat ground when you're actually on them. Because gameplay. Why does his ship have to be tucked away in the absolute bottom corner? It's not even moving. That is such an inconvenient place to go. Want to board this ship? Oh, there we go then. I can hammer through the Zoras now, that's cool. Hammer is such a busted weapon, huh? Ow. Ugh. Oh, that's right, the ships would stop when I met plowed a, uh, route a course to them, that makes sense, yeah. Oh no, golly, I must have overslept. Oh yeah, I've been feeling pretty generous. I've been picking things up for you. Here, I got you this nice piece of uh, floatsome. Yeah, more to come. One more. Or an amber. Oh, I don't have any more, but I imagine that's enough to make you happy, right? Eh. There isn't a person alive who isn't happy to get a present. Hey, that notebook you have there. Is that the guard notebook I dropped? Yeah, look, it even has my name on it. Uh, Niav, Niav, whatever. It has to be mine. Wanna give me the guard notebook? Yay! I saw to keep my boss from yelling at me all the time. Thank you so much. I know this isn't a whole lot, but please take it. You got a wood heart. It looks tasty. These wood heart rations are a little old, but boy are they sweet and yummy. 
Eh. Talk about a delicious treat. Perfect for cruising the high seas. Who wants this thing? I feel like I recognize this item. Someone mentioned it before, but I can't recall who. It's on the tip of my freaking tongue. I can't recall. Anyways, let's warp over and fight the pirate lady. Plot a course for her. It was Southeast Sea, but who was it, though? Was it just... Yeah, they are. Give up, it's futile to run! Alright, let's get this done. Was it a Goron? Ooh, which Goron was it? I, I feel like it might be. Bah, ambush. Ah, I'm happy to see you are well, boy in green. I've heard all about you, what you were trying to accomplish. Spare me the innocent act. Everyone knows what's going on. Yes, about the monster Balum and the phantom sword that it's its bane. You there, wooden box. You better listen up, too. Boy in green, you're attempting something only a fool would try. Who are you trying to save is irrelevant. If you face that monster, your efforts and your life will be wasted. That said, if you have no care for your own survival, well then face me, for I have perfected the art of pirate fencing. Hold still for a moment. I missed her. So I do more damage for now. She's gotta be around her. There we go. This isn't over yet. Still more. Oh. Guess I couldn't get around that time. Oh, I bonked her with the shield, so it flipped her. Damn it. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I can't believe that guarded. Alright, finally. Psh. You're still strong, boy in green. I think that what you're attempting to do is crazy, and yet... There's something about your stubborn personality that draws me. The one who captivated me so long ago had that same look in his eyes. Boy in green, speak to the man in the crate for me. Advise him that she, he should take notes, for he might learn something. You... You are a fool, Linebeck. Ooh, what is that girl's problem? See, this is why I don't understand woman. Hey, Linebeck? How exactly do you know that woman? Oh... Well, it was a while ago. I was just cruising through these waters. Anyway, it happened to sail by just as a ship, her ship was attacked by a monster. What can I say? I slammed into the beast with my ship and saved the day. Wow, that's impressive. Well, if I'm being totally honest, I was just trying to get away, see? I sort of lost control of my ship and it just happened to strike the beast. So after that, Jolene and I traveled together for a time, but pretty soon I realized the two of us were from different worlds. Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing, but she was a lot tougher than I. Plus, I wa just wasn't cut out for the rough-and-tumble life of a pirate. Yeah, I always preferred the laid-back style of just sneaking off with treasure. Anyway, Jolene and I started seeing less and less of each other. I knew I, I had to end it, and, well, you know. What? Well, I made off with some of her treasure. You terrible man! Lineback, how could you? Oh, anyway, ever since Jolene has been trying to get her revenge on me. Thing is, it wasn't even that great of a treasure. I didn't think it was worth so much that she'd follow me around like this. That is one persistent woman, let me tell you. Oh, Lineback, you really are dense, aren't you? <laughs> Lineback robbed a woman and she's like, wow, she's crazy. Lineback is the kind of guy who like, uh, yeah, everybody's crazy but him.
All I did was steal from her. Like, is that really so bad? There we go. Uh, wh what was I gonna do again? Right, I got a wooden heart. Who wanted that? Was it one of the, uh, the penguin people? Can I even call them penguins? They had antlers. Nanuki, yeah, that was it. Was it one of them? Or was it one of the Yuk that wanted it? Genuinely, which one wanted it? Because I just want to get... Because we're going into endgame, so I want to just give them the items. There we see here. Oh, there's a new ship there. You're right. You're right. There's two ships there. I didn't even realize that. So I guess someone else there wants it. Hang on. I don't like these groups of ships. They're annoying. Back off, lads. Wait, sorry. Hey, go away. Alright, they're going away. Okay, looks like they're gone. Enemy sighted where? Die balls again. Yeah, it's him. Ah, young man, is there something you require? How does one so young find my adventurer ship, the SS Wayfarer? Ah, could it be? Are you also a Wayfarer, ever following your heart? Yeah. I know not what your ways are, but I must follow my Wayfaring heart. Please let me tell you of my plans. What? Please just listen to me. Today I scour the seas with an adventuring heart. Perhaps you do as well, and I know not why, but for me, I am consumed with the ways of the heart. And it is all for Joanne. I do it all for Joanne. Joanne, the only mermaid of this world. Ugh, man left his family and decided to wander the ocean for a cosplayer. <laughs> if that isn't the most relatable story ever. <laughs> Who among us hasn't been there? She's picky. She only eats what she likes and quite voraciously at that. I'm joking, by the way. I need to clarify that because the internet can't does know sometimes. Her eating has emptied my heart and my wallet. Yes, I'm flat broke. Oh, he's got to afford that tier three sub for the mermaid now. And yet this is typical for matters of the heart, is it not? Yes, romance is not about what you can get out of it. It's about giving exactly what is needed. You must remember that, young man. You all right, my dude? Tell me, have you found romance on the seas? Yeah, I, yeah, I guess. Hmm. Well, then show me. Want to show him a wood heart? Huh? Hey, that th this is... Fool. This has nothing to do with romance. It's a wood heart and not a real heart. By the way, I do love these things. Thank you, young man. You do want to give me this wood heart, right? I understand. In that case, I have some special words just for you. Here I go. Perk up those ears and listen. Thank you. Oh. That's it? Huh? How long are you gonna stand there? I already thanked you! You and I have completed our business! I have not left to do with you! Go on! Be off with you! Fine, I understand. You want me to say it one more time? Is that it? Thank you! Happy now? Go away! Fine, I understand. You want me to say it one more time, Is that it? Hmm? Okay. <laughs> He's not gonna give me anything. Wait, young man! I recently got my hands on something extremely interesting. Unfortunately, I do not have it with me right now. I left it at home. It is in a large treasure chest, however. You can't really miss it. You may have it as a gift for the wood heart. Use it as you please. Okay, by home, does he mean his, uh, where his wife and kid were, or... 
his uh, wayfaring island where the mermaid was. Wait, young man, uh, that's quite a line, if I do say so myself. There you go. Abandoned island? Okay. Let's go back now. We need to go see Zaws anyway. And this is along the way. So this is the end of the trading quest then, let's get it. <laughs> I just like that. You do the trading quest, he's like, thank you, there you go. That's all you get, you, uh, you get to hear thank you. Isn't that nice? Aren't I such a nice old man? Give me stuff indeed. You are so ungrateful. He said thank you, and that's that. <laughs> he taking notes from Beetle. Heck yeah. Oh, there it is. there. We're getting there. One day. One day we'll arrive at our destination. It's along the way, so now we just do this. I just didn't come across the frog for this area, which I'm a little annoyed by. Oh well. Too late now. This is probably the last time we'll be coming back to this area. Take that, squid. We're also done with the harder parts of the ocean, too, so that's good. Got him. Almost there. Well, I'm sure I know where to, where to find it if I look for it, but we don't really need to bother now. Because well, after this, we're pretty much going back to the Temple of the Ocean King. I got what I could, and that's pretty much that. I don't want to spend, like, another hour wandering the ocean just to get, like, uh, what? Oh, oh, hang on. They're not going to let me get his treasure so easily, huh? Okay. Don't need any more ship parts. Let's go. Go, chat. Not this again. Why here when this thing's gonna stay in the deeps where it belongs? Luckily, I get health back easily for that. Try that. Maybe the real treasure was the giant monsters we fought along the way. Hitting this thing's projectile just gives you heart, so it's not a big deal at all. Do I even really need to be moving for it? Come on now. Wasn't close enough. There we go. Really, I might as well stop moving. And just do this. There we go. Ew, that's enough. We can finally dock and start poking around the island. Alright, let's go see what this grand reward is for all this stuff here. How'd you get back here? 
Ah, you've proven your true passion for adventure you possess, young man. Your present is in the treasure chest in the back. Take it with you. You got the Swordsman's Scroll. Memories of veteran swordsmen flow through it. You can now perform a great spin attack, Link. Do a spin attack three times to execute a great spin attack. Who knew that was going to be such a big deal? Guess all that running around was worth it. Let's go outside and try out the mysterious great spin attack. Is that really it? That great. Oh, I hit it with the electric guy. Just, yeah, it's just the hurricane spin. Good enough, I guess. Pick this up. Yeah, 15! I'm not gonna get five more, though. Alright, that's that. So you wanna get on the ship? Let's go to the blacksmith now. And I got it at the end of the game! It's kinda not that great now. You can start the training quest as soon as you have access to, like, the Northeastern Sea, right? At that point, you're likely to only have the one dungeon left anyway, which... Again, that boss ain't even hard. You don't even use the sword on it, just the hammer. That's a kind of an, an unfortunate common thing with Zelda games, is getting a useful thing way after it's uh, even useful anymore. Like the Great Fairy Sword of Majora's Mask. Oh, you perfect- you perfected all of the uh, dungeons in Majora's Mask, collected all the fairies? Here's a sword for one fight. <laughs> the one fight left in the game, yeah. Technically do it before the last three dungeons. Yeah, you could. Check out that blade. Ah, yes, that's it. It's complete. It's perfect. Please take it, Link. You got the sword blade. It doesn't have a handle, so you can't hold it. Huh? The sword doesn't have a handle to hold it. It's still not complete? Hmm, I cannot call it truly complete without a handle. Take this blade to the Ocean King. He will add the Sand of Hours. Only he can empower the Phantom Sword with the ability to control time. Got it, thank you. Come on, let's hurry up and go to Grandpa, Link. Alright, I guess we're done with him. How do I get the black background? Well, I, I just have an overlay. That's how I get rid of all the black backgrounds for every game I play. There's just an overlay on screen right now. Nothing's, nothing you do in the Wii U, that's just all streaming. Okay, Wisdom Gem. There's much else over here. You actually did it! The Phantom Sword finally complete? What? You want to go to the old man? Fine, fine. All aboard. All right, let me get my seat here. Uh, right. Let me just do this late. Okay. And now we're going to the end game now, chat. We got just about all I need or really want. We should be fine. Heck, I still have all these potions and stuff, too. Now, is the old man going to be at his house or the front of the temple? I guess he'll tell me in a moment. Probably go to his house first, just in case. Oh, Grandpa! Yeah, there he is. So, you were able to get the Sacred Blade forged. That's not safe. 
You must guard it well. It is very important. With it, you can make a sword to defeat Balum. Hand me the Phantom Hourglass, Link. Hmm. Balum is the evil that consumes life. He can attack with furious strength. He can also use the power he stole to deflect attacks. The only item that can slay him is the Phantom Sword. Whoa, crafting. The Courage just lets you use sword beams. Oh, that sounds useless. I already know that Wisdom was defense upgrade, but yeah. Getting all the gems is way too tedious. Just need the exact amount. It's not the Master Sword, it's the Phantom Sword. This mighty sword has the power to defeat Balum. Rare metals and mystical sands are fused together. And so the Phantom Sword is born. With that, you can defeat Balum. We're all counting on you, Link. Hmm. Okay. Sila? What's the matter, Grandpa? Some of your memories remain buried, so you may not know this. But you still have powers yet to discover. As the Spirit of Courage, you can harness the true power of the Hourglass. What powers? I don't remember a thing. Balum can drain the life from people as well as their very memories. Your memory was drained when you were attacked. I see. So if you defeat him, I'm sure you'll regain your memories too. Normally I'd be fine to help you in your quest, but please forgive me. It's okay. That nasty Balum doesn't stand a chance against Link. We'll make quick work of Balum and return to you safe and sound. Come on, Link, let's go. We're counting on you. May fortune favor you both in your hour of need. Alright. So the Phantom Sword is like another attack upgrade, basically. There we go. Let's go. All the way back to the temple chat. I'm gonna get ready to take a quick break, though, and then we'll march on through more cutscene. Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, it's you. What? There are times when I want to be alone, too, you know. Look at you, kid. You got that phantom sword. I guess that means you can enter the Temple of the Ocean King and beat that beast. That's right. The time has finally come to defeat Balum and rescue Tetra. Hey, we've come this far, right, guys? If anyone can defeat him and return to tell the tale, it's you, Link. Go get Tetra back to normal. Don't get yourself done in. What? Get done in? Link? Don't be ridiculous. He'll, he'll defeat Balum. You'll see. You're gonna be so negative. Why don't you just go mop your deck? Yeah, that's right. All I do around here is mop decks. That's what you think? Kid, venturing with you gave me a taste of what it's like to be a hero. But here we are. It's all up to you now. I'll just be back here. Mopping the deck. Hey, what got into you? Why so serious all of a sudden? Oh, that's right. Hey, Sela. Huh? What is it? Take care of the kid. You look out for him, got it? Of course, leave it to me. He actually called me by name. No insults. Whoa. All that standing around doing nothing must have finally uh, given him a character arc. All right. All right, chat. We're about to enter. We're not going to use the midpoint because with the with the sword, we can kill phantoms now. So we're going to be doing that in just a second. But first, all right. I'm all returned. I'm all set up. I'm ready to do this, chat. It's time for the final 
dive into the Temple of the Ocean King. Now with the Phantom Sword, I should be able to kill the Phantom, so even if I make mistakes, like, I'll have more than enough time. The final push is not, like, that rough. I feel like the last two trips are the ones that really start to get a little annoying, but... Let's go. Okay. Do this. Not sure what that did. So let's wait for him. Let's take him out. They are dead. They stand no chance against me. It's good we're gonna do it like this too because I don't freaking remember where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> this is what happens when you have like a bit, like handful of days between sessions. With this. Here we goes. Through that pot. And that's just a random ship part. I don't really have to pick it up. Oh, what am I doing? The locked door's up there. Let's move on. And I gotta draw the Triforce on the red door when I get to it. Bomb thing there. To go through quickly. It's a good thing I wrote down the oh right the bomb thing. Hang on. I'm gonna get that guy anyway. Just wanted to kill him. Oh right. Hang on. All right. Now let me get it. I don't know why I waited. Oh, I don't even need the thing. Nothing's fallen there yet. Ah, darn it, never mind. I get tripped up and try and do things out of order. Elmarok plume, blah. See what I mean? Just not worth it. some of this. And what does this go to? Oh, that's as far as it goes? No, it blocks it off, I see. Big chest, all right. Oh. Tap it. I'm tapping it. Blah. I forget what else I need to do here. That's just where that chest is. Here's where that is, but I don't have the key. How did I make the key up here again? Did I have to hit this? Please tell me I saw it. Ah, crap, that was that. I thought I could skip those switches, oh well. Not a big deal, spending significantly... What, what the hell, I just tapped the boomerang. There you go. You pick that up. There you go. There we go. Still significantly less time spent on the floor than the first visit, though. No problem. Don't have to memorize everything. Just kill them lads and get the Triforce pieces. 
We don't lose time when we're on the purple spots. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I like how you can see his corpse toppling over as that's happening. And that can only be reached with a grappling hook. Let's go ahead and just get it, I guess. You got a plume. You're at the end of the game. You don't want it. <laughs> so bad. All right. So yeah, because we can kill the phantoms, we can kind of just like um, ignore the stealth stuff now. The idea is just to make you feel stupid powerful after running around these guys the whole game, which is pretty cool. So I already got the key. What was up there? Okay, that's that. We'll take that free 30 seconds, because why not? Nice. I didn't write down where the yellow jars are, but it doesn't make much of a difference, I guess. Tap it. Tap a few times there and it wasn't going. And there's another one. That. Come on now. And the last one's down there behind a locked door. When you think about it, Balum might be one of the most powerful vil villains in all of Zelda because he actually has an impossible dungeon. It constantly drains your life and all the puzzles reset when you leave. You actually needed some magical bullcrap to get around that. Unlike Ganon where it's just like, get the Master Sword. Ooh, I don't like the Master Sword. It's so sparkly and yeah, it hurts me. There we go. And Balam's just like invincible enemies, resetting puzzles. He's playing Zelda. Balam's just playing Zelda Maker. I doubt we're ever going to get like an origin game for Balam, like we did with Vadi. Where Vadi was just introduced in Before Swords as like this random eyeball spirit, and the Minish Cap just gives him an entire backstory. Just kind of show his origins. And what am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know why I went back there. I thought maybe there was an extra thing in the corner, but that's just a waste of a couple seconds. Okay. Next part, let's go. I don't even remember who the Spirit Tracks villain is. Damn, I almost got hit. That was almost really stupid of me. <laughs> I can't re I genuinely can't remember who the villain of Spirit Tracks is now that you've brought it up. I'm I'll get to that game when I get to it. Again, I only ever played it once and I remember nothing. Just absolutely nothing about it. go. I don't know why I'm waiting for a drop from him. Also bomb chew stuff there. That'll get me the key. Let's just go grab that. I wonder... This is the last thing I can teach you. Phantoms can be slain with one strike of the Phantom Sword, but even I don't know what will happen if you strike from the front. Yeah, you probably shouldn't do that. Hit them in the back. I can't believe he didn't see me. It's just an annoying beep. They can't do anything. 
Like, yeah, they can't even call phantoms here anymore. Sorry, chat. You'll have to put up with that for a moment. Well, this just... Yeah, this will just give me a quick shortcut now. Perfect. Perfect. It's, it is one of those, like, anxiety-inducing beeps, isn't it? I didn't get the yellow vase there, but at the time I saved more than makes up for it, so... How did I not get this before? Oh well, I'm not going back for it. Is that not what I'm supposed to do? Alright, it worked that time. Okay. Go down here. Cause, probably because I'm approaching from a different spot. Because I used the bomb shoe entrance. Better to kill the phantom, play it safe. It's a beep that sounds like something's gone horribly wrong, yeah. It's the kind of- it's like an alarm beep, so it makes you just feel like, ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't want to wake up in the morning. So I can just get to the red door. This is the red door floor. Yeah, treasure map. Yeah, I'm gonna leave and go get that now. Of course I will. Why wouldn't I do that, chat? I may as well open that chest, because why not? We'll see what it is, but it's going to be worthless. Coral! Okay. Uh... I didn't exactly do it right. What was the way I draw a Triforce in one stroke again? Uh... <laughs> that was terrible. How did that work? How did that one work? What? I cannot believe it. That one was accepted, but the other ones weren't. That was stupid. All right, new midpoint. Took you this long. Wait. That's longer. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I spent more time getting here? Literally how? Whatever. I got extra sand, I'll do it. <laughs> Let's get the crystal and kill the phantoms. this up. Now that's gone. I was getting unnecessary chests, but it wasn't that bad, was it? Oh, the fire's gonna be in the way. Need to get the key. Hang on, I just realized something. gem. Don't worry, we'll kill him in a second. Oh well. Who goes there?
Wow, that was silly. Die, please. That takes that out. Don't to worry about that, though. I still have more than enough time, but I'm a little salty that uh, I was apparently too much slower this time. It's probably because I skipped the floor with all the extra, like, yellow, like, uh, yellow pots. Yeah, that might actually be it. <laughs> oh, well. There's no point in me resetting for it, though. It's just, like, an extra minute, but man, I'm kind of salty because I use those shortcuts. You got more than enough sand to do it. And I can kill the phantoms. Maybe... Hmm. No, it's kind of unnecessary. I was just thinking, what if killing the phantoms with the phantom sword makes them drop, like, 15 extra seconds? That'd be another way to make yourself feel powerful. But it's instead, it's just for ship parts. Whoopee. Can't wait to customize my ship. Okay, there's that. And I know there's a yellow pot up here. Over here. Goes there. Now we gotta go activate the switch. And we can go up. Alright. Now we gotta deal with uh, getting the triangle crystal over here first. And great, he's got he's already in the position to take the long way. That's great. Hurry it up. What? So annoying. Here we go. Free chest. Pick it up, it'll be fun. way to get that. Peaceful bridge. Wow, so exciting. Alright, let's use the bomb shoe to get this instead then. That opens that up. Now, where the hell was the triangle crystal again? Okay, that's that up there. Can't reach that yet. Triangle Crystal wasn't in the big chest I already opened before, though, right? Oh, come on. Is it really gonna show me that cutscene every time? Bit of a pain. <sighs> yeah, it does. Still getting plenty of time back from these chumps. I literally just got that one. Wow. Don't know why I'm opening these things. It will never be good, chat. Never be good. Alright, put the square one there. Where was the triangle one again? I can't remember. Where's it here? Oh, there it is. Okay, so yeah, I can just take this over here now, because I already skipped the thing. I forget the order they go in, but whatever. Probably yellow sand in there anyway. I just gotta go upstairs and get the circle one now. Yeah, look at- I'm making amazing time right now, still. Don't even need it. Okay. Just gonna go up the wind. 
The extra sand you pick up, like, from the yellow pots and the enemies there is just perfect. Let's go get it over with. The last one and we'll be fine. Still a bit further to go, but we'll be alright. I hope. I don't remember having a significant difficulty with the last push. There we go. Now, is there a yellow pot in this version of the room? Let's find out. Aha! There was. Okay, worth coming in here, then. Square, circle, triangle. Square, circle, triangle. Easy, chat. Those big gems look like candy, don't they? Okay. Alright, next part. I don't remember how this part goes. There was like a boulder here I push, I think. Just wait for them to cross the spikes. Or they only cross the spikes when they, uh... Okay, I see. I kind of, like, intentionally aggroed them before. That's how I did that. No problem, then. I don't need to worry about it since I have the sword. Okay, wait for this guy to get into position. Let him cross the spikes. And I'll just bowl this over him. Crystals do look like giant sugar candy, don't they? Ow. Only the Phantom Sword can destroy them, except Blunt Force Trauma. Stopped it for good. 15 seconds. Yippee. He saw me, but it don't matter. This is good. Damn it. It's gonna be hard to hit him from behind like that then, huh? Okay, those are gone now, but that's okay. Perfect. He just happened to, like, uh, like, look up diagonally so I could hit his back there. That's gonna be garbage, you just know it. Hang on, I'm killing this thing because the beeping sucks. And it's gone. Ding, 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 chat. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, so we want to do this just for some quick sand. Big green rupee. Not even a ship heart that time, just rupees. Just money. I gotta go all the way around. Okay, no problem. No problem. Hmm. Now, I mentioned earlier, chat, about indie games making stuff for... Yeah, I don't think I want to go for that. That's gonna take too long. Indie games, like, taking old ideas for, uh... Let's just do... Oh, for that. Wish that... Indie games kind of, like, uh, taking games that aren't getting sequels anymore and doing them on their own. I wonder if someone could take, like, the Temple of the Ocean King concept and make it their own. It's like a cool indie game. 
where you're traveling around the world filling up like your timer or whatever so you can go deeper each time that'd be pr pretty sick to see speed runs of Just, you know not entirely touchscreen controlled anyways yeah get the posture check here that was ukulele in the impossible lair really i thought that was more of a donkey kong country clone from what i was hearing i never played ukulele maybe that should be on my list for the year I also really want to redo Banjo 1 because I'm not happy with that old playthrough and I want to do it better and then play Banjo Tooie. And I'm not, I don't want to really want to play the X, one of the Xbox though. Interesting though. Thing is, the lair was something you worked towards if you were a good speedrunner. You could beat the game in like 10 minutes. Well, ukulele was like the banjo devs who are no longer with like rare anymore basically wanted to make their own game like banjo kazooie so they just made their own legally distinct property for it that's what that is yeah because microsoft owns banjo and we all know they're not doing anything except uh giving them to smash i guess that was one good thing no fun not being able to play using the control pad if i had one regret it's being so stubborn and saying such a thing yeah this man died because he didn't like innovation. Remember that. And one shot. Yeah, you mentioned that in the Discord. I always wanted to get around to that. I want this coming year to be the year that I get around to playing all the game, like so many more games. Towards the last couple months of this one, I really did start to play a lot more games. Like I got through some more horror stuff I wanted to, even though we had some issues. Let me see here. Okay, what's up here? Alright, all four switches, that was it. Okay. Now I need to get up over here. Ocean King, or Temple of the Ocean King inspired, like, roguelike. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. I should get that. Hang on. More games, chat. All the video games. Step on the four switches. Why am I reading that? I know what it says. There it goes. Alright. This room, right. See ya. Come on. Darn it. Oh well. Oh right, forgot about this. This doesn't matter though, because I can kill the phantoms. video games chat we'll play a lot of them don't worry that's the plan i was also thinking um for the coming year one of the things i wanted to try doing was like just kind of keep a consistent list of every like game i play and complete and then at the end of the year just make like a just go through them all on stream or something just like write them all down leave a little bl blurb end of the year tier list That'd be motivating, so I can make it as long as possible. Oops, give me that. Not all of them, just stuff I stream, just also stuff I play in my own time. That thing over there is being a butt. We'll get him, don't worry. He's gonna drop me stuff. I'd say I can include ROM hacks on that too. 30 seconds. There's a hammer thing. Yeah. 
Yeah, it took way too long. Oh, well. It's not like that's important anyway. What's the purpose of those stairs anyway? I should probably go up them and check. Not important, though. Oh my god, I'm trying to hit him with the sword, please. Ooh, an itty bitty chest. I'll take that. Oh, I can break that with the hammer now. Rusty switch. Save a little bit of time. We're almost there. Pick it up and put it down there? Why'd I drop it like that? Weird. There's no reason to go up those stairs. That's weird. But I can only access them with the hammer. I don't really want to do that. This is just going to lead me to, um... I don't want this room to reset. It's probably just extra yellow pots. No safe zones. Let's go. I think it would be fair to uh, put ROM hacks and stuff on like that long list of things I play this year. Just stuff I complete. That'd be fun. They seem to be guarding that door. Go get them through that. Would randomizers be cheating? I feel like it would be. Because I'm going to do a lot of those through the air. Who goes there? All right, let's see if I can do this. Don't take damage. What? Oh, come on. Okay. Yeah, well, you, whatever. Better get the arrows out so I can stun their stupid butts. Grab this now. Well, I'm deploying the last lines of defense. Can't see me anymore. Damn it. Of course they turned around just as I finally approached. Ah. This is a little awkward, isn't it? Hang on. Was there a red pot up here? There's gotta be a red pot up here that I'm just Yeah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I really should have grabbed that first, didn't I? Bro, they don't see me anymore. Should have threw that. I really should have threw that red pot down. Oh well. They always give you more than enough time to account for you getting hit. Um. Are, are they stuck? I think they're stuck. I've never heard the phantom music go this long. It actually looped. Maybe I should reset the room? Yeah, there's two now again. No. I really hate how it thinks thinks you're so dumb, it has to show you the fire appearing every time. It's so obnoxious. And that's how it's supposed to be done. Oh. Yeah, maybe don't put him right in my face. Maybe, maybe I could, uh, move a little bit first. Thank <laughs> you. 
Where'd he go? He just appeared in front of my face. Yeah, I think if I do another, like, stream where, um... I finish, like, what? I beat, like, Red and Blue in, like, one sitting in a few hours with another Pokemon. That doesn't really count as, like, another completed game for the year. Maybe trying something new. Like a long randomizer session or something. We could say that counts, right? If it feels different enough, we can say it does. Remember, it's not a contest. It's all about having fun. You like having fun, don't you? You know, you know, I just realized what we could do at the end of the year. We can call it the Teddy Awards, where I hand out, like, awards for, like, ridiculous categories. I can make a little trophy symbol and everything for him. That would be funny. I can just make my own category for that. Yeah, you did it. Now we can go deeper in the temple. We can have a Teddy Award for worst game of the year. Oh, yeah, now I kind of want to do that. Get Gomi to make some Teddy trophies. Yeah, I kind of like the silly idea. We'll make our own game awards. Whoa, who knew a place like this was here deep inside the temple? Is that really it? Am I done with the puzzles? Man, I had more than enough time. I thought there was another section after this. Jeez. Who knew a place like this was deep inside the temple? The end is really close, so what are we standing around for? Come on, let's get Balum. There we go. Oh no, the bridge is down, Link. We can't go back. You ready for this? Yes. But if you're worried, you can go back once and prepare. It's okay, I'm here for you. And I'm with you too. I exist as well. Thanks, everyone. Come on, let's go. Uh-oh, you can't go back, except you can. <laughs> If you want to return to the entrance to the temple, step into the blue light. Alright. Damn, I, I thought there was going to be more puzzle. Like, the countdown was mo way more generous than I thought for this. Jeez. We're really fighting the final boss now. Well, we're at the final part of the game, I guess. Alright, let's do a chat. Turn it up volume. Squid monster. I have no idea what to do here. I remember the fight, but I don't remember what I actually do. at the top. I suppose go all the way up. No, I don't see anything. I guess I stay in the bottom first then, huh? I can't jump. Bottom it is! All the way to the bottom. And he was just gonna wait for me after all, huh? Blow that off here, or what? Grappling hook, maybe? Hey, Link, those weird things are trailing him. Do you think there's any way he can yank them? I was just about to. I literally equipped the grapple hook, Sila. <sighs> yeah, like if we used a tool to hook them or something. I can't help but sense a little bit of sarcasm in your uh, tone here. that lad. He's in purple gooey water. Imagine if the hourglass still counted down here. Alright, he went to the next floor. Arrow this. Oh, I see. That's clever. into him, though. No, 
not dropping arrows. Holy crap, that was a snipe shot right there. You see that? I didn't think that would actually hit him. Back down to the bottom. Oh, I see. So he's going to have a new phase each time. I got to repeat. I'm getting reckless letting these things hit me too much. Replenish resources. Even the hurricane spin's not exactly great for this part. Uh, at least I'm getting hearts back. Crap, he's going the other end. be dropping arrows since I'm picking some up. No. I tried to glance over at chat and I realized there was one on the stairs blocking me. He's sending out the goop chat. Oh, now they're blinking. the two screens very well for some of these major boss fights. Okay, same deal. something out. Ew! Why, I feel like I've seen that somewhere before. Reminds me of another time. Eek! Is it your memories? What was that? I feel so strange. I wonder what that was. See you, uh... Grandpa! That is the memory you lost. Long ago, Balum attacked you, stealing your power and memories. Now those memories have surfaced. You have them back? Ah. I remember. I remember it all. I'm Sila, the spirit of time uh, and courage. I finally remember everything. All right, Sila. Now is the time to deliver the final blow to Balum. That monster still lives to perform the last step. Sila, I think you know what you need to do next. Yeah, leave it to me. All right, let's go, Link. I got my memory back. Soon you'll see what I can really do. All right, we're still going. Where's the stairs down? Okay, there's one. Did he go all the way to the bottom? No, he's splashing around over there. Charge him head on. Hard to predict his wild movements, but it's okay with me at your side. We can take on any enemy. As long as I trust my true power to the Phantom Hourglass. You have the ability to stop time. 
First, focus your power on the hourglass with the phantom sphere I release. Each phantom sphere has the ability to stop time just once. The hourglass icon will appear at the bottom of the screen. Touch that. And draw the shape of the phantom hourglass. Why did I... Why do we gotta do that? A figure eight. Time will stop. Oh, okay. Too late. He's already, like, reverted to that, so I can't, like, uh, do it again. You did it! You stopped time! I'll do my best to create the next Phantom Sphere as fast as I can. Hang in there. I'm gonna tap it. I need him to not be in the middle like that. doing that. <sighs> Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Got him. And she had this power at the start of the game. Oh, that's a very big what if. What I mean, if we could just kill the final boss right away? Clock. Look out! The ceiling! It's cracking, Link. The exit's still blocked. What do we do? <laughs> Just in time. Hey, old man. Come look at this for a second. Old man. I am. Oof! Ouch, what's going on? Look who it is, falling out of the sky on my head. Work on where you teleport, people, old man. So the one that got us out of the temple, that was you, Grandpa? Yes, it was me. The two of you have done well. It's not gone, but that seal, or the seal holding me is weakening. My power was restored enough to bring you here. Hey, kid. Wake up and look at this, Link. <laughs> Tetra's gonna be okay, right, Grandpa? Ah, very well done, Link. After you slew Balum, I used some of my power and focused it on Tetra. It seems to have worked. She's recovering nicely. I think she will be she will be fine. It seems you've done it, Link. Link. Since I got on that ghost ship, I've been dreaming. I know that you saved me, Link. I saw everything. Oh, phew. Looks like you're gonna be fine. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for saving me, Sela. Oh, no, no. I didn't do a thing. It was all Link.
Ahem. Mm-hmm. Ahem. Thank you, too, Linebeck. I'm grateful for everything. Oh, no, it was nothing. Really pretty standard. No way was I gonna let those two go it alone. It was too dangerous. I had to step in and help out. What are you talking about? You left all the dangerous stuff to Link. Link just happy. Roll credits. What happened? That wasn't good. What's going on? I don't know. Oh no, everyone outside. What is that monster? That's Balum. But how? I thought we defeated him. Look, look at Tetra. So he was still alive. That's why my powers are fully restored. That squiddy thing is getting away. chat. Shoot the eyeballs. Hey, did he just possess the ghost ship? We have to chase after him. I'll take the wheel. Prepare to man the cannon, Link. I don't have to chart a course or anything, it's all auto now. I don't remember this specific part, but I don't think it was too hard. I hope I have enough hearts to do this. I should be fine. Okay, the projectiles dropped, them, so I'll be fine. I'm good so far. Quit time. Ugh. Evil squids in a Nintendo game. Perhaps Splatoon takes place in a universe where Balum won. Just made everything squids. Pretty good, kid. Shoot into the barrel, can uh, cannon barrel can catches fire. Now there's more big eyeballs. Yeah, I got hit, but that's fine. All I'm basically doing is just ta is just tapping the ghost ship over and over, vaguely around where the eyeballs are, because the cannons kind of gravitate the projectile to it. Because how else would they handle it?
just keep shooting is all you can really do during this. Because it's like auto movement, I mean. Damn it. Had enough punishments? There we go, that's enough damage. Okay, Link, let's climb aboard. But wait, before you do that, this will be dangerous. Shouldn't you save first? Yes. Save complete. Now that you've taken precautions and saved, let's climb aboard. How nice of him to say that. <gasps> Look, it's Tetra, Link. thing to say right now. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh god, the old man died. And <laughs> that's just like, oh god, my ship. He stabbed one tentacle. Wake up. Wake up, Link. Wake up. Hurry up already, Link. Link? Uh, what? The Gomi monster. It's not open. Damn it. What about his weak spot? His eye? Stop time and everything. That eye has to open at some point. Alright. I'll move his back to the top screen. Hey, I see it. I can see it. We got a top screen, Link. His eye open. Alright, Phantom Sphere. Oof. You got me. Sorry, Link. Don't worry about me. I'll restore my hearts. Should probably just down this right now while I get the chance. What do I do here? a phantom sphere, so... Can't exactly chart a course for the boomerang at this camera angle. Hey, is Tentacle losing his grip on me? Finicky with this figure eight at once. Come on. Come on. It won't go 
in half the damn time. There we go. change the side there. That feels a little awkward. Come on. There we go, just got it. Purple potion gets used automatically, right? Hope it does. Okay, wait for it to open. Trying to draw a really small figure eight seems to, oh god. Seems to work better, but not always perfectly. Closed. Annoying. I can't believe that one worked. Oh, he was one hit away? Damn. <laughs> That's unfortunate. There it goes. chat. We're nearing four hours with this. Long finale of Zelda today. Very comfy. Hi! Get it. And now the skies are normal. Yeesh. Ouch, oh, what's going on here? I thought. You okay, Linebeck? You're possessed by Balum. What? Oh, that's right. I uh, think I remember something about Link. Kid, I mean, Link, I'm sorry. I know I was possessed by that monster. To think that I... Shush, Linebeck. You hadn't stood up to Balam when you did. Who knows what might have happened to us? 
Well, I guess I got caught up in the moment. What? It's not like you. Are you sure you're lying back? My ship just took a little, uh, damage. Grandpa. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, I was thinking of doing Oracle Seasons as the next one. I'm gonna worry about that right this week, though. It's a big whale! It goes again. Link! Linebeck and Sela, I have returned to my true form. For that, I thank you. He's a big white whale. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa old man, is that you? I never would have guessed you really looked like that. If not for you, I'd have been sealed up forever. This sea would have fallen into desolation and evil. You saved me in the great sea. Thank you. Linebeck? What, who, me? I have to make good on a promise I made to you. I grant you one wish. What is it? Come on, say it. You want a treasure, don't you? Just ask. No, that's not it at all. I don't need treasures anymore, I think. Well, I guess if I have to, you insist. Can you bring back my ship? The one that sank? What? That's it? You know, even if he asks for treasure later, that's it. That's enough from you, Sparkles. You just gotta get the last word, don't you? The sand of hours is returned and peace reigns. The ghost ship will no longer haunt your world. Our world? So what is the world that we're in now? What is this place? The time for you to return to your world is near. The door to your world's about to open. We are inhabitants of this world. We must return to the world of the Ocean King. Thanks, Link. And you too, Linebeck. Your courage will not be forgotten. Oh well. Thank goodness, Linebeck. Now I don't have to look at you any longer. I'm getting tired of seeing you all the time. That's my line. Get out of here and good riddance. Well, I'm leaving now. Thanks, Lineback. to stay with you, Link. But I'm a spirit. I serve the Ocean King. Now we have to say goodbye. Thanks, Link. This is a more tearful goodbye than Ocarina of Time, Link, and Navi. But no one remembers this one. There we go, chat. Turn it down a bit. All right. That was Phantom Hourglass. That was fun. 
it worked out better on a uh, Wii U Virtual Console than I was expecting. We had some issues with uh, getting the hardware to match the original, but it worked out for the most part. There they all go. You see here. So, I think the wording of that's a little confusing. When they said our world, they didn't mean Link and Tetra left their world. They meant that they were going to the Ocean King's world and leaving this one behind. So does that mean we're, I don't know, are they talking about three different worlds? The wording is kind of confusing for me. I guess we'll see in a moment then. But it's fine. Kirby in the credits. Hey! Link trying to figure out where to go everywhere. Good game. Wholesome game. And I ha I do have Spirit Tracks downloaded on this, yeah. I, I'm i sure you all are looking forward to watching me try and get the Spirit Flute to work. I'm looking forward to that, too. Ending music is wholesome, yes. Maybe they just consider different seas, different worlds. Might as well. Just another universe where that world's also flooded. Yay! Credits already done? Feels really short for a credit sequence, especially on a Zelda game. Player- <laughs> Ooh, woo. They actually put that at the end. Oh. Hang on, let me get the gamepad. Hey. We're in the ghost ship. Oh, that was a wacky night. So yeah, we came from a different world. And the Ocean King world is another world. Huh? Where are we? Boss! Huh. Link, Link waking up in the middle of the ocean after a long adventure? Something about that seems familiar. Linebeck disappeared, and the ghost ship is back. What's going on? So you were okay all along? I was worried when I heard all that screaming. But you look fine. What about the ghost ship? Was there treasure aboard? What are you talking about? I was almost frozen forever on that thing. Link saved me. I wouldn't believe what he went through. You understand what we've been through? Where were you? Did you even look for us? What are you talking about? You were only on that ship. It's only been ten minutes. <gasps> ten minutes? You've got to be kidding! Do you know what we've been through? I have no idea what you're talking about. How could I? It was probably a bad dream. You're not listening. It was longer than 10 minutes, I'm telling you. That ghost ship is really, really dangerous. It's not there anymore. The ship is gone. It really was cursed. The dream you had was the work of the ghost ship. Eek. Hey. I told you it wasn't a dream. You guys never listen. He still has the hourglass.
wouldn't have been a dream. He still has the hourglass. What? And, okay. And, and I can see Lineback's ship. So does that mean just Lineback entered this world? <laughs> All right. Forgot about that part. All right, chat. The end. And it goes back to title screen. You could say that the ghost ship was a link between worlds. <laughs> Never brought back up again. All right, though, chat. But that was Phantom Hourglass. Hope you all had fun. There's a lot of mini games and stuff you can wander around for uh, for completion, but it's really not worth it to do on stream, I would say. It would be more than a bit tedious. It was fun to do as a kid, though. Again, I wish I could play the battle mode, but literally not possible. <laughs> Anyways, chat. I had a good time with this. Um, some of it was a bit trickier than I remembered. Um, for the most part, everything worked fine on gamepad. Like, the Wii U's touchscreen, like, worked very well for this. And the microphone worked eventually. We can say that much. Anyways, chat. We'll get to Spirit Tracks in the coming year for sure. For sure. I definitely don't want to jump right into that one next. For, like, give me a few games at least before I think about that. My left hand is sore from holding up the gamepad while the right hand uh, touched everything, too. Anyways, chat. We're gonna go ahead and stop now. This was a short little stream of just finishing Phantom Hourglass. Looks like we got around four hours. Not bad, not bad. I had a good time. It was very fun. Very fun, a good way to finish off the year. But if you're watching on YouTube, hope this was comfy for you. Have a good night. Bye-bye.